Big up, big up, tune in, tune in. Let's see you, man. Definitely. Um, good afternoon, all the, the viewers um, listen, listening and watching the number one program on, and um, YouTube. I've been watching some other videos too. Very interested and informative, you know, and um, stuff that you have to think. Um, allow, gives you an opportunity to think. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. All right, welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to our show, Weekend's Triple Treat. Hope everybody is doing well and everybody is doing all right. So we're here another weekend. We give thanks that we are alive and well. Yes. Big up to all the persons who take the time to support this show, this program. Yes, people really appreciate it. And it's a place and space where we have a very, very good time. And uh, that is done in wholesome discussion, robust discussion on the matter of Jamaica's football. So we are here again, people. Another weekend, another time. Welcome to the persons on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in as well. And of course, you know the golden rule, people. You hit the like button. Hit the like button. Once you enter, all we ask of you is to hit the like button. You can also decide if you want to share the stream. That's not a problem either. But we are asking that you hit the like button. So, yeah, people, we're here to talk about some, some stuff. Um, as you can see in the title, Mikhail Antonio, Leon Bailey, and, you know, a, an overall review of the three games that the Reggae Boys played in the World Cup qualifiers. Um, we can call it first round. Yeah, we, we'll just dub it first round. But, yeah, we want to have a discussion on that. Um, we're looking forward to see um, possible. We're looking forward to see someone special tonight. Not certain if that will materialize, but we we keeping our fingers crossed. And uh, so we're gonna have a little adjustment to the to the format of the show. Um, so for the first uh, hour and a half, persons are free to call in. Um, so the, 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 the call-in lines are open right now. You're free to call in for the first hour and a half. If after that, we and, and you call, we might take a special call. But for now, we want to ensure that uh, you, 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 you make the call that you want to make in this hour of the program. Because, of course, you know, we had a little discussion and realized and recognized that Whenever persons are making their point and there's an interruption, it kind of throw people off. And I mean, it, it's kind of it's kind of tough to, to just stop someone and say, hold on, hold on, a call is coming in, a call is coming in. So we want to try to uh, make that adjustment, minor adjustment, to see how it goes, uh, because we are still open for suggestion as well. And um, definitely we want to see how that goes. So let's talk about um what transpires. So big weekend coming up, huh? Yeah, man, big weekend coming up. <laughs> Football is on again, right? Yeah, man. Not World Cup qualifying football, but club football. Mm -hmm. Club football is on. And I know a lot of people are excited. are excited about you know the 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 whole return of the of the league yeah you have some people have their favorite league whether in whether in 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 england whether in spain germany uh, and such the like yeah and of course we can't wait for the reggae boys so reach back to their club and also hit, hit full throttle as well so yeah man we are anticipating 
the players touching the street, touching the ball field. Or the third or so. Touching the ball field um, this weekend. So let's see what will um, transpire. And of course, we support them in their endeavors. So let's take a look on the uh, Jamaican Premier League. It is hot. It is on in earnest. There are some um, interesting things happening in the league. Big up to the persons who, you know, um, continue to um, put in the work so that this league um, continues to grow. So let me give you some point standings after game. That's game number uh, nine or ten. One team would have played ten games already. So Waterhouse lead, 16 points. Same amount as Tivoli Gardens in second. Cavalier, 15 points. Same amount as Veer United, Mount Pleasant, all on 15 points. Dumble Holden, FC, 14 points. Portmore United, 13. Arborview in 8th position, 12. Arnett Gardens, 8 points. Um, Molines United, 6 points. And Umber Lion at the foot of the table with 6 points as well. Now, in some games that were played, let me just give you a quick update on the games that were played. Waterhouse FC with goals from Bradford. They defeated Portmore United one goal to nil. So Waterhouse has been stepping up. They have a, a possible hit form. So it's a good look for them. And in a, in a high... Uh, Scoring encounter, seven goal thriller. We have Mount Pleasant Football Academy. They defeated or outscored Dumble. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, Dumble holding FC. Five goals to two. So you have Miller scoring for Dumble holding Harvey. Um, for Mount Pleasant, by Grave. Um, you have Isaac. You have Fletcher, Isaac again. So those were your goal scorers for that encounter. All right, and in another game, Arbor US FC, they hit one pass Arnett Gardens FC, and that's where it ended. Palmer in the 70th minute. That would have given them all three points in that encounter. So, so big game there for these teams. Um, I think the teams are pushing very hard to, uh, you know, secure playoff berth and spot. Yes, so they are putting in the work. Let's see how, how far they will go on that one. All right, so... Let's check out some of the comments. Check out some of the comments. Before we talk about the comments as well, let's um, congratulate Mikhail Antonio of West Ham United, the reggae boy, making his debut last Sunday. Even though it was, wasn't one of the, those debuts that he, he was looking for. However, he with, with the tremendous form that he oh, oh. is having he would have um, secured player of the month in the English Premier League that is indeed a, a, a big thing because you know not many Jamaicans can boast that they would have won that title of player of the month you know what I mean so congrats to him Leon Bailey is back in training yes Leon Bailey is back in training so we look forward to see uh poster boy the maestro um stringing it i think they will be playing chelsea so let's see how uh that one will go all eyes will be on leon bailey i'm not certain how dre anyway that is going to be doing that one or not is he going to be supporting aston villa or will he be supporting chelsea he's actually the ceo but one of his players playing for 
Aston Villa. So Jay will come and clear up that a little later on <laughs> uh, by telling us how will he do it. All right, let's jump over into the comment section, people. And uh, because, you know, sometimes when we don't do this aspect of it early, um, because of how rapid the comments will be coming in, um, some persons, <clears throat> sorry, might be left out. And it's not that we, we are ignoring the, 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 the messages or the text, but it's as a result of the vast amount of uh, messages that are coming in. And you might wonder what then why come how come you highlight the super chat? Well, the super chat actually comes with an highlight feature. Once a super chat hits, you can't miss it because the colors are different. You know what I mean? So big up yourself, people. Thanks for the support. Please remember to tell a friend to tell a friend about the coach's desk so we can come over here, increase the community, um, where we continue to have robust discussion. I must say big up to the panelists, big up to the moderators who have been doing, you know, a superb job in, 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 in ensuring that the show continues to, you know, soar and live up to the billing of best round here. Right? All right. Cool. So big up to Shedrock Mackenzie. Welcome, Shedrock. Welcome to the show. Eagle Republic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, Eagle Republic. Welcome to the show. And we have Fresh in the building. Big up yourself, Fresh. One of the capo, of the moderators. You know, big up yourself, Fresh. Doing a great job. All right. Um, JJ, welcome, welcome. And big up. Um, he's also bigging up um Fresh God. Howard Chin, welcome, welcome. Welcome. King Jav. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It said, give thanks and praise to the Most High for the start of another triple treat weekend. Yes, King Jab, you know how we do it over here. Travis, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to Fresh God again. All right, Jamaica LOL, welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> All right, so JJ said, no, no goal for running tomorrow. <laughs> Balakar, one of the most famous persons in the comment section of the coach's desk. Yeah, man, Balakar is like the, 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 the uncle of the group, you know, man. Everybody know the uncle, everybody love the uncle, and some people don't love the uncle, but they know the thing. Though. <laughs> Balakar is still one of the most, you know, liked character. On the coach's desk. All right, so big up yourself, Balakar. Ains the Henry. <laughs> all right, all right, welcome. Our friend from South Africa, our brother, Ferdinand. Welcome, 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 welcome. Jamaican Guna, welcome, and big up yourself, man. Big up yourself. Nikoi James, welcome, welcome, welcome. And this is the number that you can call. Remember, people, we are giving you the early time to call in, to call in and share your views on the topic. The line is open. You are free to call. Toki, welcome, Toki, and big up yourself. The line is open, people. Andre Chambers, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Definitely, Angie, you know we have to support your views. Well, respect your views. And you're free to share once it is not done in a manner that being slanderous. So, big up yourself, same way, Anjo. I have not seen civilians practice block out driving like you were doing last. <laughs> All right. So, Eagle Republic. Eagle Republic, we have a whole letter that, you know. You will be donating that to the coaches' desk. That's your donation for next month. So we're looking, we're, <laughs> we're looking for that one. Hey, to be honest, you know, you'll be getting a lot more of those videos, you know. But I might, I might be able to make some adjustments, you know. Yeah, man, I can't make adjustment. Watch and see. Yeah, man, we can't, we can't deal with the adjustment, man. Elaine Livingston, welcome, welcome. Lady from London, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. 
All right. Yes, we have Wayne Evans in the place. Wayne Evans in the building. Um, <laughs> Elaine is saying, evening class. The professor is out, right? <laughs> Claudine H. Yes, lockdown for the weekend. <laughs> Boy, I'm out of mind. It just finished this weekend, you know. <laughs> All right, we have Kathleen Maxi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mikhail, you're in the building early. Yes, man. Welcome, Mikhail. Welcome. Fresh God is saying road to 20K. But Jason saying for jump the line. Road to 100K. 100,000K, sorry. Look how long we pass 100. <laughs> Ah, see, Jason right us already. Welcome, Jason Ferran. Welcome. Big up yourself and your household, in a brother. Just that, you know, you go through the thing quick and fast. You know what I mean? Um, be a man. Big up to all the silent listeners of the show. Ladies and gentlemen who watch the show. Claudine H. That man is over. How are we going to be doing the track and field section? Wow. Well, of course, we'll find something, man. Marlon, welcome, Marlon. Welcome. Pick up yourself, Marlon. Mark Chambers in the building. Wait, well, Mark Chambers um comment gone. Oh my word. Is it? It's as if um Elaine or Shelley passed through. That one went as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. That was like light. Mm -hmm. All right. Catch you back, man. So, Mark is saying, bless up, coach. Tafa can get the right combination of players on the field. Jamaica will be one of the teams that will qualify. Certainly. Certainly. Absolutely correct. All right. Grammy, welcome. Uh, one done. Yeah, man, he should be able to play a morning, man. Grammy is picking up everybody in the comment section. All right, Elaine, big up again. Brown man security. Yeah, man, stand good, man. Bertram, good, man. Though some local changes were happen. Yes, yeah, so. But Bertram, good, man. Yeah, man. Claudine is a congrats to Antonio. I guess his reward will take out the bitter trip. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, man, to reach home to that, you know, change the mood, yeah? Flare in the building, people. If you want fun and laughter, go and check out the Flare family. Yeah, man, a big channel. Check them out. Yeah, man, the Flare family. All right, big up yourself, brother. Best sport program on YouTube. All right, big up, big up, big up. You can check them out. Them do vlogging and... All for cooking. All you see, all I'm on the way can cook. Check out Flair family. Check out Flair family and see the boss, Daddy Flair, deal with the kitchen. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, man. Neo, welcome, Neo. Big up yourself. It's a 12k and counting. Coaching, joking. What, Neo? So, like, uh, you, you go, you go on poetic. <laughs> yeah, man. Congrats again, Neo. Big up yourself, man. Big up, big up. All right, so people, remember you can call in. The lines are open now for you to call in. Big side, we have. We just need to fix things quick. Players need to watch video of their opponents, learn their weaknesses. Yeah, man. Unseen, big up yourself. All right, big up yourself. Calling Tan Clark, big up yourself. Big up, big up. And we have Roland Malcolm. Tapa said, we're not for panic. What do you make of that, coach? Me in a full panic mode. <laughs> Where's the asset? The asset. Um, if you look at things, though, you know, you know, you know, you know, Roland, uh, the, 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 the team are not that really far stretched from us, you know. So if everybody got like, which, 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 which would be impossible, if everybody were like five, well, seven, our one team, uh, yeah, enough far, enough far. 
from top to bottom is six points. That's two games. So moving into the next round, all we need to do is just win games or score, 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 score. Yeah? You understand? So that's what we should be thinking about at this moment. Some strategic planning in going forward. Owen, Owen, big up. Ricky Chopa, welcome on. Big up yourself. Where's the, where's the player? <laughs> yeah, man, big up yourself. Jarvis, big up, big up, big up. Hey, Kaim Paris, uncle is, you know. Jarvis Paris, yeah, man. Where's it? All Topic TV, big up yourself, man. Say, hurry up and bring man's man. Man's man. People are requesting, you have the vibes, man, you know. Daily dose of with J and O. All right. So, daily dose with J and O. Big up on yourself. Up top coach, World Denver, Colorado lock in. All right, big up yourself. This sound like one channel, people. You know, go over there and support them. Daily dose with J and O. Let me look on it right now. Hold on, people. We are, we are, we are look on it right now. Give me a second. No, I'm not going to wait for me, man. Let me check it out. What's your name? Let me subscribe to it right now. Daily Dose with J and O. Let me see what J and O. J and O. Let me turn it down there. Yeah, man, big up. So we are subscribed to J and O, you know. So people subscribe to it. Subscribe. See that? My subscribe. All right. So yeah, man, big up yourself. Um, Marlon Lingard is saying. So what's up situation with Toto, uh with Theatre Whitmore? Are we going to get rid of him? And what are we going to have this guy just lean around and lose the rest of the master? Well, we are not the federation, so apparently. It is what it is. Marvin Paul, big up yourself, man. Vancouver in the house. Canada and the building, people. Big up yourself. Wayne Evans, welcome again. Isaac want to play for Jamaica. You heard it here already on the coaches desk, Jamaica LOL. Well, man, you never did a listen. When I, I think it was last week. Yeah, man, last week. Wait, wait. Yeah, man, last week the thing talked about, man. Formula, big up yourself, brother. People, remember, you know, all the way one around here. Formula Sports, check out the channel. You know, Formula, the double look at um, issue the other day, people. And you know, you never see him for a while, but he's back. So, nobody, nobody would know. Itching thing. Once Formula upload a video or him go live, just jump on. All right? Big up Formula. Real baller. Top on every you go on. <laughs> so me I cousin I and nephew. <laughs> Best show, show on YouTube. You all keep me in touch with the culture back home. All right, top up now, nah, nephew. Sheldon Harris, big up yourself. All right, Grammy, big up yourself. Touch up the like. Tyrone Tyler. Up like a jet plane. What? Only if I see him through on this. Yeah, formula. I think I move, man. Big up yourself, too, man. Yeah, man. Thanks, thanks. Bless up, Jerome. There's still World Continental Tour. Chuck and feel. All right. So we still. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Warren Webster. Welcome, man. Big up yourself. Come, people, like up the live. Just say, yeah, man, you know the thing going on. Big up, brother. Big up, big up. All right. So, daily us. Big up yourself. Andrew Brown. Andrew B. from Brooklyn. Big up. All right. Brooklyn in the house. You know, I have a little problem a few weeks ago. You know, but big up on yourself, man. On the overcome, don't you? Yeah, man. Big up, big up. So, welcome to all the North Americans in the building. Welcome. Tri state area, um, Canada, the whole United States. Welcome, welcome. All right, Wayne Thomas, big up. 
Marvin Paul, big up. We can't discuss that for two, you know, Marvin. Mm hmm. Good talk, that man. Yeah, man, we can't discuss that. Isaac Gazin said he do not want to play for Jamaica. Yeah? All right. Fitz Murray Reed, big up yourself and welcome. Why are we panicking? All right? The call are coming already, you know. Yeah, man, remember oh, this oh. segment of phoning, you know, people. All the callers, mm -hmm. anybody who want to call in. So I'm going to answer the phone right now. You're going to go live mm -hmm. right away. Good. Caller, good night. Welcome. You're live on Coach's Desk. Okay. Um, this is Adi calling from Australia. From New York. New York. Yeah. Speak up a little bit for us, now, please. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying this is Hardy calling from out of New York. Yeah, man, Hardy, big up yourself, um, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, I always tune into the program, and I just want to let you know that it's a wonderful program you have going on. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it makes me feel like I'm at home. Yeah, man, thanks much, you man. Know? And um, my quick input on the three qualifiers that goes on, mm -hmm. I quickly noticed I quickly noticed that um, is the team needed chemistry, you know, because as these guys um, that is one base are, let's not say one base, you know, the guys that play together more, they seem to give us a better game, mm -hmm. you know, comparing to when time we have all English based players who wasn't getting a good game, we did not get a good game from them because they did not gel, mm -hmm. you know. And, but 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 um, but but um New Yorker, you know things uh, it was a wrong move to just play all of them one time. Most definitely, that's what I was thinking. Oh, Why would yeah. they play all these guys one time? You know, there there would be no chemistry. You know, they have never played together before, and you play all of them in one match. You know, and then you got you got these guys that. You know, is from Jamaica. Already know the turf, know mm -hmm. the bounce and everything. You should definitely give these guys a chance. You know, and slowly engraft these other new English based player in the side. I don't think that you know we we'll get it wrong right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that is my input. And I just want to let you know that Stanton got the good work and let up cranky and get her up on the debate and you yeah. know, enjoyed it also. All right, big up yourself, Ali. And yeah, man, first time caller. All okay, right, thank you. Yeah, man, big up. All right, there you have it, people. Ali from New York. And Real Abala. Let's say, big up the whole Brooklyn, Canarsie, Flatbush. Yeah, man. You have to shout out to my peeps over there in Bronx as well. Yeah, man, Queens. All the people them over there. Yeah, man. New York, our place. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so you, you heard that, that, that. All right, so they call them a community people. I'm no self for them time. Alex, big up yourself. Jairus, big up yourself. Carla, you're live. Welcome to the coach's desk. Big up yourself, coach. Yeah, man. Big up yourself. Where, you have to tell us where you're calling from, you know. Every evening. Vancouver, man. Ah. You know, Marvin Paul is from Vancouver. All right, big up to Mar Canada, Marvin man. from Canada, yeah. Yeah, man, I love your program. You know, every evening, you know, the jump, I jump off, I work, I jump, I mean, yeah, I'm happy to do it for your program. Like, yeah, man, big up yourself, love man. Love your program, man. But we want to know, Coach, mm -hmm. this is a topic I'm going to like you guys discuss or debate. Yeah. What's the best starting level you think we can put on the Are you team? just writing from the chat, no? Yeah, man, I want to discuss that, man. I want when the panel come together. Wow, we we'll don't have a discussion. I did see it from that. What mm -hmm. is starting them going forward? All right. Now yeah, make sure. Because, because we have a chance, you no, know, coach. Because you know the problem when we see like in you know, the Panama game, mm -hmm. there was no chemistry. I don't want to them use that deal together. You can't, man, come in three, four days before the game and expect them to play. Mm -hmm. The way how we see them play upon the international and then club football. You know what I mean? 
So I think if Tapa get that thing at like all a week or two, mm-hmm. if you want to get it like two weeks before a game, there's no way. There's no way we're not qualified for the World Cup. 100% we are, we are reaching the World Cup. All right. So you say you believe in our coach. You support the coach. Well, the coach, what we do? You can't change the coach right now. <laughs> Unless I fall all the muggy job. You, you can't bring in a new man right now, you know. Mm-hmm. You have to work with top one, you know. It's just that you need to get them new put together at least a week. Not at least. They now get them more than a week together. So them have a little chemistry, like, what kind of system we play? Them youth, I don't even know what kind of system to play. What kind of system to play, coach, to be honest? <laughs> I pass for now and then. It, it, well, it looks to me like a... Uh, uh, no, no, man. No, brother. All right, I don't pass. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. You know, see, I only hear Europe, a Europe program alone. I watch the rest of man, then, but if you hear a program, I like it. You're not biased. You kind of keep it real. So... All right, let me answer. Let, 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 let me answer. answer. Let, let me yeah, answer. answer. Yeah, let me hear what you ask. I have seen Tapa employed many different strategies in his game. One time, I see him play a high-press game. <laughs> One time you see him employ a high press game. Um, mm-hmm. you have a time when him, him play the low block and try to hit the, the, the team on the mm-hmm. counter attack, meaning a, a defensive game try to counter. Then one other time you see him play the long mm-hmm. ball game, which no work out for mm-hmm. it most times. Then the game against mm-hmm. Costa Rica. I I, I mm-hmm. saw where him, him, him try a new strategy. When we utilize the flank, mm. the wing box, the full box. Um, and that's why Taxi mm-hmm. have man of the match you know, because he had a lot of in he was involved a lot in the game. Even Alvas Powell was um mm-hmm. highly involved in the game. So yeah, man, I think him have him have mm-hmm. a lot of strategies, man. But you know, people see it and say otherwise. But uh, those mm-hmm. are the things that I've seen watching the team over the years yeah. under the two diligence of uh, uh, mm-hmm. coach with more. So to say now that strategy, I'm not, I'm not yeah. sure about that. Because I see it, I see it in our games. Okay. But okay. more so, more so, I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think him kind of um, deploy the, 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 the counter-attack game. Because if, if, if you notice, yeah. for the past few games that I've been seeing, we have, we have never mm-hmm. out-possessed any team. So I think we kind of sit back. Whether we sit deep or we sit mid-pitch, and try hit teams on counter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, go ahead. You know, and it, you know, and it, when we, we, we think we need an IT team. Mm-hmm. All right, you remember the time when we, when Agla they used to play for Jamaica, they used to play for Reno. You yeah. remember the white here yeah, come at Jamaica one time, come play a game, then time they made a match for Premier League, you know. And Agla, man, ma, you need, you need, you need a man like Agla in IT. My man can say, yo, you see, as long as him out there, Mm-hmm. Him not to get no ball. Me want you. Me, me remember Agla Mark out the way he out that game. You remember that game? They don't. No, you know. But probably me had to do a little juvenile them time. They know. <laughs> you got a little boy in time. This is probably a fifty year old. Something. You, you remember the days? Yeah. Remember Agla Mark out. Lot of pain. Do I care? Can them do them? Mark them out that game. But, but me hear about it, it still. Agla have him like a deodorant. Mm-hmm. We need a you. We need a defender like that. I'm thinking this youth. I mean, him, be it me and Loki and play that role. They are man marking like yeah, and you are yeah. danger. All right, we have to make sure say you can't beat me. He a do make the, the better man them for the team all the while beat it. You have to have a man marker in a team coach where you can say yo, Agla, yo, you see that work you see tonight. You know why I do not move to him. Mm-hmm. I didn't get up all man and start to join Uncle and him there. And same kind of, you know, see, you, you know, when Argentina and Brazil them play, mm-hmm. I play a handsome man, kick out and clap. <laughs> you, you know, so I'm not watching when they play because they don't play no brand about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them man, they don't gain a chance to play no ball. Mm-hmm. So, what need to implement them kind of play in there because how can't talk about ball game? They must see what ball game. A serious ball game for two months. When they come and say, yo, hey. <laughs> the they man, man a the, the man are serious about them thing, man, and them full of tri- theatrics too, you know. Mm-hmm. So we have to watch that too. But and but Mister Vancouver, yeah, them, they, hello, we we not we, we want yeah. we want free up the line because somebody not call a while ago. We don't want cut it like that, but you yeah, know man, what the yeah, thing man, said. Yeah, 
no say a road, man. Don't say a road, you. I respect that, man. No say a road, man. I understand, man. All right, big up yourself, man. I love your program, you. I watch you every evening. All right, my brother. All right, big up yourself, man. Thanks for calling. Yeah. All right, so yes, people, that was the man from, I, I think it's Marvin, he said. Yeah, man. Marvin from Vancouver. I see somebody, the person who was calling, you can call back. So we are trying to limit the calls, people, because if, if the calls are coming in on rapid, um, we can probably, yeah, we're limit, limiting the calls in terms of the minutes you spend on the phone. But if we don't see no caller coming in, then you know we can give you a little option to continue on your, your thoughts and your conversation. All right? Jeros, big up. Travis, big up. Alex, big up. Mark, big up. Westland, big up. Where Grammy is, eh? All right, see your call. Up. <laughs> Caller, you're live. Welcome to the coach's desk. Yeah, man. Good night, coach. Yeah, good night. Jeros, big up, man. What's up, man? Yeah, man. Good day, man. All right, wait. Um, I, want, I, I want to ask some questions about Sunday's game. Mm -hmm. right. You have to ask me, um, all right? I will, will you, um family ask. So you want me to answer them? Anybody, are you, yeah, <laughs> you directly, but anybody in my chat can answer. All right, cool, cool. All right, so, is it a case that, 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 that the coach mm -hmm. deliberately wanted to, 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 to lose that game by not, by not starting anyone from the, the previous game, or at least using our, 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 our brand new stadium? Um, Anthony uh, Grant. Anthony Grant, even that he impressed. Or even, or even speed in the makeshift stadium to give some protection to the back line. Given that we have um a uh, 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 well couple couple work of qualifier debutants in the, mm -hmm. the back line. Mm -hmm. Right? So all right, for, let me try I think the art answer. No, let I me don't th understand why you would do that. All right, let me try Doesn't make any sense. Let me try and for of you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead, go ahead. Answer. Oh, all right. So what, what I'm going to say now, I've heard that argument being said, and as you rightly said, probably it's a conspiracy theory. I don't know which coach Jairus would I want to go in our game to lose. Even if, that, even that if Marvel and you and then a player, Brazil, I don't think they're yeah. going to that game to, 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 to lose. However, coach, However, just the exactly. However, though, however, I I do believe that the, the 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 strategy going into the game could have been tweaked. If you ask me, I wouldn't start so many um new new players that because you want you want gently build them or infuse them in the team. You know? So when you throw them out like that, it's like you throw them in the deep. Exactly. And if the fans were there, the fees that they would have get beaten, you know. In terms yeah, I mean, of, of course. in terms of the funds, they would have taken them on, you know. So I, so, I think what you should have done, you know, mm -hmm. if 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 he was if he's going to say that, um, he doesn't want to tire either CD or Grand. Give each of them forty five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As as a low CDM. But and that is also and a pretty. Other players, because low was low was injured, so I would not be expecting low. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. But other players could have been um, in, in the team. Both should have started. Mm -hmm. Even though Antonio is, is, is the number one striker right now, mm -hmm. but he's, he hasn't played for Jamaica yet, much less in a World Cup qualifier. Right, right. right? We as the fans wanted him to start, you know, we are not the coach. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Coach should... Which leads into my next question. Mm -hmm. Is it that, is it that tough up? So a, a lineup on, on YouTube or on social media, he tried it out and when it, when it didn't work, he, he, he wanted to bash. Um, bloggers by saying that um, football doesn't play on social media. What, what does he mean? What, what did he mean by that? Um, you, you, out, you, you really believe that? Because it's when we come here and we put up a possible lineup. Most times we pick it based on what we think, you know. Or um, in recent times, our recent past, we used to say this is a possible team that we believe the coach would pick. Then we graduate from that and I say, this are the team where we are picked. This are our team. So I don't, I yeah. don't, I don't think a coach 
national team coach would do anything of the sort. I may mean, not think so. You no, know, the, re the, the reason the reason I would I would suggest something like that is because his outburst didn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, I mean, never, I mean, we that... as fans are going to going to speculate all the time. We are going to uh -huh. put up what we think is the best squad. You shouldn't do that. You should mind your own business as a coach. And, no, no Jeros. No, but Jeros, I can't say that, man. Because I remember say when we when people there and I said then talk things about the coach, you know. So not wrong if him yeah, say, but, say something like but, but, that. But have a thick skin on that, brother. True, true, because once you're a public figure and you're in the spotlight of the public, you're going to be coming, yeah. you're going to be under scrutiny. So when you say thick skin, no, that is a, a very um important point that you brought up. But me not think saying him 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 I don't know. I, well I don't really care. I don't think it was fear to us as fans that come telling you say football and a place for social media. Of course we know that brother we just have speculate I had a coach. He might need to come go say that he might take that a point of positive message to me like yeah, come yeah. Say, oh, he might take a on, job but I mean on YouTube I said this and said that. No but Jeros Jeros you have to understand I think it you have to understand, say, him, him probably know what I'm going on and hear what I'm going on. And it is his time now to take a job at social media. And if we are saying, and if we are saying, if we have thick skin, we feel have thick skin too. Because it's not really, you know, about me, you know? No, 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 I'm not saying about me. I laugh about it, man. Let me explain. Let me explain fully what I'm trying. Yeah, go ahead. Right? Quickly, quickly. Yeah, yeah, you, have, you have a minute. May I give you a next quickly. minute? Yeah, man, I know, I know. It's like, a man, it's like, it's like, um, me, me have a work to do. Mm-hmm. And you see a bunch a bunch of man over there say I suggest something. Then I suggest it directly you know, what they must say, yo, this I want to be this I want to be enough. Blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. So me talk to the interest now and start um follow what they must do. And when you know where no message, see that, see that, see that. Um football no play for, for social media. It's all it's all like a me that like a lot of what I must say to me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like it's all like a lot that is what because if if it wasn't that he wouldn't need to say that coach, yeah. about it. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I get a point, man. You I get it. Anyway, anyway, big up yourself, coach, and big up everybody in our chat. All right. So, people, there you have yeah. it. That's Jeros. Big up yourself, Jeros, and thanks for calling. He yeah. always makes some good points, as usual, whether in the comment section or in call. Big up, Jeros. All right. Yeah, man. Respect. So, we have Dre anywhere there in the building, Chelsea um, CEO. Chelsea CEO is in the building, people. Big up yourself, Dre. And you can always support this channel. Um, big deal. Let's say Isaac now fouled in changing minds so quick after last week. Sure, no, we are here something positive last week, you know. Sure, no, star. I saw it go still. So it go. We have to just move on. Speedy and improve speedily. And Anthony Grant and coach went back for. Jeva and Watson, so <laughs> we have players. <laughs> All right, David Daly, welcome, man. Ian Campbell, welcome, friend. The big man. Um, Okay, Isaac, by the way, go watch your windrush. Your grandmother and grandfather are descendants of the queen. All right, Danville Salman, big up yourself. Danville, Sal Danville from Souls of Gospel Records. All right, big up yourself. I really know that one there still, but big up anyways, man. Top of a big ball and other coach, you know. All right, big deal. Big up yourself. Where's the three points into the playoff? Mount Pleasant or Tivoli next? Don't matter. One view. At the Arbor view, Jay attack, you know, and then him team. Chelsea are play tomorrow, so. You know, I'm kind of in our vibes, you know. <laughs> All right, Ian Campbell. <laughs> I see Ian are venting now. Well, I know why Ian is venting, people. And if you know why he's venting, then you have to do support why I'm venting. You see me, I said? So when you see Ian are venting, Ian are normally venting. But when you see him vent, just make him vent, man. Travis, Isaac Aiden can say you'll never make England team. If you qualify for Qatar, Isaac Aiden, no bother. Change your mind because we know why. All right. Owen, Owen, Agla, rough up anybody, good old days. People, remember the line is open and you know, free to call. Because when the panelists come on, we drop the link. I don't think we have a technical call, you know. Um, one, Bubbler. Coach, I'm not going to did coach. No, no, no. Rob Smith. <laughs> 
Rob Smith, you have to understand why Ian do that still, you know. <laughs> you know, have to understand. But as big up yourself. We say badass, people badass say watch this and him see the amount of time I point out in the Panama game that the wing box didn't make it to go the byline. All right. They say here is strategy. The Marigui Redman Max Aaron's maybe fouled in October. All right, big deal. A true boy I was bad. All right, Travis, I say, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you understand what Ian say. All right. Yeah, man, Agla mark out Yak, even when them substitute Yak, Agla walk with him and them pick. <laughs> hey, so like somewhere, where, um, what, what's our, our Shorty Malcolm, Steve Malcolm did. Yeah, man, and the man go out for the field of drink water, yeah, man. The man go beside him and stand up there and wait for him at the byline, you know. That looked great. Next time, do not leave any time for the goat. All right. <laughs> Andre Beckford, welcome, welcome. Agla style of ball not play no more. Nowadays, Agla would get red card every game. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> All right. I see a whole heap comment that come in, you know. Well, let me try to find what we did there. All right, sis. Good night. Welcome to the coach's desk. Coach, this is good night, man. man. Travis here. Want to go on, coach? Good day. You're not Travis giving thanks to us. Another weekend triple treat, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Do it, brother. Yeah, man. I might look with two cents while I go on with the program. As far as we see it, you know. Mm-hmm. Tap off the go, you know, you know, coach. Tap on them local ball here. Yeah. Take Jamaica football for ransom, like a film it. A film it. And then I'm obligated to say. As far as we see it, you know. Tap off a show lies to the man, them. So they never want to sign no contract, they sign. So stop giving their words and I feel like you. Okay. Man like Fisher. That's according to you. Are, like are you sure so I said, or are you just a theorize that? Coach, coach, we coach, coach then things are going, man. But okay. people are going to talk things, so I'm not afraid to talk things. Okay, okay. Because enough things are going. And what we know, we don't, we don't hide around the country. Jamaica team is for, for local and overseas. No man no own outside, we don't care about that concept. Come on, roof. Mess up. Leon Bailey, no man. Leon Bailey, no number. No, no, what yeah. have Leon Bailey done for Jamaica lately? Leon Bailey, no star of a Kerala roof. Can Leon Bailey do nothing in the Premier League or no? That is with Jamaica. All right, Travis, we hear you. As far as the season, you know, mm-hmm. so on the game, you know, yeah. top of set up in my name, you feel him. Can no man, no top of no man, no pick no side, I'm picking side. Him pick the side. Yeah, the president came and out. And Grant Jeffrey played three games. The president, right. the president came so out and said look, he, never, he never right. picked any team. Coach, we know you're a coach, you know? Yeah, man. And I'm going to take blame for nothing at all. Nothing I'm going to take blame for. Yeah, man, at, at, at the end all of right. the day. All right, this is Sunday. At the end right. of the day. Coach, look at Romandos. Right, go ahead, go ahead. After the game, Wednesday. Miss when the game done, I'm going to take your whole team. Miss when you take on the sideline, I'm going to break. Taxi and Watson. So that tell you, sir. Coach, tell me now. What that tell you, sir, coach? One of the rest of the whole team. Yeah, yeah. To my conclusion, this is my opinion. Yeah, man. It's a Blake, Taxi, Damian Lowe, Alvest them, and Flemings, and both of them. He's a Jamaica team for them. And for them, we need a coach, and we can name four. We qualify more top of Paul Hall. Michael Johnson, Joey McAnuff, and Darren Moore, four former players. Mm-hmm. Even if it link up, two of them are something. I'm going to figure Tapa. And soon I'm going to work up. Tapa, Tapa, no plan to play English, man. And man, if you team, you pick for merit, whether you're local based or overseas. Because I don't mean, no, no fight against whether you're local, but you have to play for merit. Both are my ball and mm-hmm. for both of them. This goal, goal, one goal, one against Sydney. Yeah. Because I will play Costa Rica. Yeah. You see me, I say, man, if you pick a team, pump, pump, let's go now, go go nowhere. Yeah, man. You know, the man is getting this thing like this, he said, Jamaica team, I feel them. Jamaica feel all the way, with diaspora everywhere. For the man, they qualify. Every other country is Africa. 
for a fans team. We try to have a fans team them. You them for this, they can't play for fans. They go play for them country they come from. Look up a mobile young. Ban of fans. But in period they come from Gabon. Yeah. We know what the good man they were ball here. I'll swim in things. Find a goal cup season. When 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 Andre when he score a goal, Andre go to celebrate. He push off the man. Like a celebration thing, sir. And I top my cards that when you're not coach, you come out with fear, whether you're local or big player, play players for marriage. We must start working at team. Tell me, we must start working at team. What are you doing? If you want to play a three game, you play. Because I feel like Premier League extensively. But, 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 Travis, when you look on it, Travis, when you look on it, remember, we were supposed to get um, Jordan Cousins and, and, yeah, and, and, those player, and those players, and those players weren't able to put in. Where's uh, uh, that? You, Vanzi, Vanzi, in our program around a long time. Vanzi, what was the good one at 2018? Now, Chile. And Vanzi, I miss all the midfielder in our Premier League of the two days. Vanzi could have a car over what? But that's why I look in front of them. We're loyal to him. Football will play somewhere that. We get a job for you. And you know, only team. This is Jamaica, I don't feel him. As far as I see, you know, top one on a body going clips, the two goals when score. And I and 90, I don't live on 90, I talk about 90, 90, 23 years ago, brother. Football evolved more than that. All right, Travis. We have to. We have Football to... evolved. Yes, man, I said. Yeah, man. We, we have another call. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We have another call right. coming. Big up yourself, man. Those are yeah, the views of Travis. Yeah, man. Big up. Carla, good night. Welcome to the show. Carla, good night. Carla. Yes. Yeah, man. Um, good night. Good Welcome. evening. Good evening, coach. Yeah, man. Good evening, man. Welcome. Yeah, man. Are we in a car from Miami? All right. Yeah, man. We in from Miami. Up north again. What's yeah, up? Man. What's your views? Yeah, man. They, they call her. They absolutely right, man. Absolutely right. The, the, the division and the printing and 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 the feel to the coach, all of that, are the coach, I call them to the division. You know, you can coach a team and then you you and the players them are friends. So what you mean why why players like why players and coach can't be friends? Why players and coach can't be friends? Win. Not 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 like that. You 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 are loyal to the player them. You can't lie out to play a team. You have a team. You have to pick a team and the best player. Okay. You put the best player on the pitch, no matter where they come from. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the guy when I'm talking about him playing, he doesn't have no behavior for real. I watch, I watch him, him play all the while. He doesn't have no behavior. You know? And he yeah. doesn't like to pass the ball. Yeah, team can't play like that. Yeah, but uh, so we play have a few. To go to the... You have a few. Te you have a few players on field, man. And where you know, so when them man they hold the ball, you could have called a little more than man they ever try to break out the field. Yeah, you know, that's how you think of sometimes, man. No, nah, man, that's a Walter Boy thing. That man, that's a long time ball thing. See, look, look here, look here, win. In all teams, most times you have a dribbler. You have need a dribbler. And if it is Judah Fleming's a dribbler, he might, he might go dribble. Can you see anybody else do it? Yeah, well, well, dribble, but when you when you when you see the pass, you make the pass card a goal. If anybody score a Jamaica winning. Mm-hmm. I may tell you, coach, if they're not unite and do the right thing, we're not gonna make it um, to the um, World Cup. And we have some decent players, Mikel and, and them guys. We have some big ballers out of England. So all them needs to just pick a good team and everybody, everybody um, comes together for the purpose of the country. Everybody comes together. You know, when I go reach now, we just have the ball of them and name and that's it. Yeah, man. All right. So the light, the calls are coming in. Mind, two, ten, yeah, man. Big up yourself, right, yeah, man. That's my call. Two, ten, man. All right. Today I watch the program. So All right. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. Carla, good night. You're alive. Carla. 
Caller. We not hear the caller, you know. Caller, good night, you're alive. All right, you can move on from the one there. Caller, good night. Welcome to the coach's desk. Yes, good night, coach. How you doing? Not too bad. Hey, I like the fact that. Well, you hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you have to turn down the background noise because we. I'm hearing the the. the I'm hearing um hearing. The, the, yeah the feedback in the background. So if you're listening to the program, I have to turn it down. We don't want the feedback kind of disturbing sometimes. All right. You turn it down. Yeah, man, if I already turned it down. All right, go ahead now. Yes, coach. Yeah, man. The last two callers, they were right on point. Mm -hmm. Theodore Whitmore needs to be objective about the selection of this team. The reason why Isaac Hayden is not coming to the team mm -hmm. is because the word get back. Okay. You can't have the team and sabotage the team. When the guy scored a goal, the first, first goal in the Panama game, Andre Blake had a smile on his face, like he said, yeah, I'm going to show you. Mm. You know? Coming from the captain, that's not a good look. Okay. When your two best players stop them in the half time and then you have no accountability, whether they're on the bench or not on the bench, that's not a good look. When you come off the pitch and you're speaking poorly about your team, mm -hmm. and you're throwing your players out of the bus, that's not great leadership. The guy's a poor leader. As they say, praise in public, chastise in private. I feel Mr. Whitmore have a lot to learn and with these players that he has, he's going to chase away other players doing the things that he's doing. I understand grassroots football in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's like a corner league thing. Uh, this coach needs to stop it. Because guess what? We're not living in the dark age anymore. We're living in the information age and people are analyzing videos. They're looking at things in depth. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you see it that way, but we all are looking at things in depth. We're looking at body language as a your player. If you notice when the local players play, Blake give 110%. The last game that we played against Costa Rica was the best coaching performance with Moore's ever done. I saw him speaking to McGee coaching him and mentoring him on the sideline. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The reason why, he couldn't do any better because none of his friends could play that position. I'm glad that the public caught, spoke up for McGee and he decided to play him. I right. feel it's going to be a good thing for the team moving forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, boss. Wait. So what do you have to say about the selection, coach? The selection of, of the, yeah. the team that played um Costa Rica? Or yeah. oh, um, well, of course, you know that everybody couldn't go to that game because of the the um Costa Rica being on that red list um for for UK, so the the the, the players from Europe are over in England. They couldn't come if they play a championship or so. I think it was a a, a balanced team that was selected. Anthony Grant in the middle of the park. He protects the defense very well. Um, Shamar Nicholson, he's on an upward trajectory. So I mean, it was it was a and and it was a good display from 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 the boys. You know what I mean? Was it was a good display? Mm -hmm. You're right. It was a good display. However, mm -hmm. don't you have an issue with the conversion rate of Shamar Nicholson? Of course I do. He's going for the fa he's going he's going for the fancy stuff instead of controlling the ball on the second one. Mm -hmm. and he was all alone. He tried to do that fancy physical. Of of course I do, but I don't believe he's re he has reached is 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 optimal as yet, you know. So he he's still growing, no. and we hope that he'll reach yeah. to that um peak where where he wants to reach as an individual and as a footballer, so that he can score a lot more goals for Jamaica. All right, so we're, we're the thing, quickly quickly because the line is the line is running, and you're... what about your what about your right wing back situation? All you're right, going to use the other wing back for other power. I've a thousand liability. All right, we 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 can talk about that. Let us hear what some um the other callers are saying, but we can discuss that. 
All right. Thanks for calling. Okay. Hello. All right. I'm not. I'm not hearing him. Calls are coming in. Caller, good night. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. You're not here to call it. Caller, good night. Welcome to the show. Yeah, coach. Yes, sir. What's up? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you remember you tell us, uh, you tell us we as a fan, you, know, you know, tell us the things um, after the, the pan up, not the pan up, the Costa Rica game. You had some stuff that you also supposed to tell us your subscribers, but what really took place. You say, you are right, LFC. Say, after the game, you can tell the things them. Um, just reminding you. So, <laughs> we don't want to be out in the, in the dark. <laughs> so just ask if you can tell me, please. But if you were if you were listening keenly, you know, I'll call her just talk it to me. I was key I was listening keenly, sir. <laughs> and I was waiting keenly. I call her call just I call her just spoke. I call her just spoke what he he, he thought transpired. So <laughs> no, no, we don't hear what him thinks. You you is coaching or your name coaches next to us in terms of the No, but but not information I want to hear from you. Yeah, call her, but Ryan did speak it on his show. Ryan, talk oh, about I never, I never watched it, you know. Oh, you never watch it? No, and I, and I, and I know that so you said that you would see it. So I, was, I was really looking forward for you to be yes, You know, come forward, whatever information. I never heard what Ryan said, though. All right. No, no problem. We can, we, can, we can assess the situation and see if it is necessary to talk again. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. All right. We don't want a division, you know. So if, it, if anything can cause division, e exactly. Then I guess we can keep it out. Yeah, but you know, mm -hmm. but all right, you you know best, coach. All right, respect. Yeah, all right. bless up yourself. Thanks for calling. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Caller, good night. You're alive. Okay. Okay. All right. Caller. Yeah, coach. Yeah, man. Turn on the the the, the background. Yeah. yeah, man. It's turned down, man. All right. What's yeah, up, Yeah, man. You uh, was around me, man. Yeah man. yeah, man. From Moby, you know? Yeah, Romeo from Moby. Big up yourself. Welcome to the show, man. Yeah, man. That's so neat, man. That's what I said. If you see the pick, mm -hmm. it, I like you said the pick, you know? Yeah. You see, if you pull them, like how them are running wing, them are not screwing the ball. Them. That's how I started and missed Yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then, I like, me like how him play. Taxi lines and all of us boys play good. Like oh, me like oh, me not care when nobody wants to, but me think them two wing back then, my opinion, play good. And my baller, for me, I hear enough people as we praise Anthony Grant. Jamaica yeah. never have, me not say, I'm a best defensive midfield, Mr. Jamaica, with for a long time. Yeah, yeah, that's but you, true. They're solid, 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 that's right, that's right. You know, sir, once your, your, your midfield lose, a problem for defense. The defense go look shaky. It's like how Chelsea have Kante, Zagino, protect the midfield. No? Yeah, brother. Mm -hmm. So I said, say, big up, big up, Grant. And Maggie, would I like to see only the city side with Maggie, um, Bobby Lee. Would I like to see two of them on the field? I don't know what kind of formation you that use, but, but Maggie needs to start in a game them so. Sure. She might call so she might be up on farm right now. You know, clinical you know, but you might go improve. Man. Chance, he's probably <laughs> you might go improve, man. Cause um the last yeah, the, the last you time have any we have. Mm. Yeah, the last time from from Google. Yeah, right. When he was talking on an Instagram live, he was saying, I listen and I try to make adjustments and all of these things. So he's a youth to listen and I try to ensure him, him adjust him game so he can be better. I don't know if he's probably staying on the training ground to, 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 to work on some stuff with his coach or whatever. But something will go on because from him score the trick it's like him confidence gone to the roof and he has been, you know, even though, as I said, the conversion rate is not all that, but the fact is that he's scoring. Yeah? Yeah, but if I hold the ball right now, for we say I give a goal, mm -hmm. but we can't come and say, oh, that man is going to give a goal. Exactly. 
in a clinical, you know, you might take 10 shots, but probably score two. But mm-hmm. we need to start score like 8 out of 10. I don't know what you want to Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it takes time. Anyway, it takes time. Yeah, man. Anytime she wants to call to reach a race, she's England and more team. Because more team, but more team, England too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, man. All right, yeah, Roman. Yeah, big up yourself, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Romain yeah, from yeah, Mobile. Man. I don't know what you say, man. Yeah, man. Big up, man. All right, cool. Yeah, man. Carla, welcome. Carla, welcome. Carla, welcome. Yeah, What's up, man? Where are you calling from? Ricky Chupa this month. Oh, Ricky Chupa. Oh, go on, Ricky Chupa. Big up yourself, man. There's a team chat, yeah. right? <laughs> 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 what say you? So we call us the a while ago. Mm-hmm. I think the farm is there. Four, two, three, one. Work. Yeah, man. Yeah. But like for the, the fullback, they have bubble for feel and thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taxi and all that. So, I think we can definitely refer to the way the farm is and they're going forward. You see? Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. All right. And like we have some big strikers. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, Ricky Chupa. Respect. Oh, yeah. You have oh, something else? Yeah. You have something else to say? Yeah. Go ahead now. Yeah. Huh? Boza Anthony. No, I'm not here. Boza the... Antonio. It two of them can't up on the field, man. It two of them can't up on the field, you know. But right. Yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. But if for me. At the farm ball, I mean, I'm going to yeah. start still in the middle. I like it. You know? I'm going to start the farm <laughs> ball. And the man, the man gone two out of three games. At the farm ball, I mean, I'm going to start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Is it me? I say? That sounds good. That sounds good. I agree with that. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's big up the phone for the coach. I'm big up the man. You know? All like right. That, you know? All right. Big up the yeah. All right, Ricky Chupa. Big up, man. All right. So there you have it, people. We have a few more minutes for, for, for if you were calling and you could not get through, just call back. Let me see if I can call back one of the person. All right, let me see. I'm going to go through the number them and see who I can call back. All right, Ricky Chupa get through. The num- oh, some of them get through already. Yeah, man. All of who did I call get through. Except this number. I'm going to call back the number. Carla, welcome. What is that? Oh, Alex, what's what up? What is that? <laughs> wow, wow, good. Good day, uh, you know. Just, uh, big up to everybody on the show. Big up first guard. Big up Andre. The weather now is very good. Uh, all the fans, you know, you know uh, uh, they show love to me and uh, everybody on the, 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 the panel. Yeah, man. Well, of um, course, cool. as I can see, as this three games, um, I wouldn't say there was like a big division though because I was reading an article this today in Jamaica Green and they and Damien Lowe stated that the English players need them and the English players need them and, and the teams need the English players. So there's a fact of they need to merge together and, and they need to get one goal. Mm-hmm. So I, I got people saying that English players. What about Grant? You don't like Grant? You don't like Mariapa? So you have something against those two, especially those two players. I want to know, because if you didn't have nothing against those two players, English players, you would not play these two English players in their team. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, people think division coach, I want to see how it's division because you have two English players playing in your team. You have a goalkeeper on the bench, Dylan Barnes, that's playing in your team. Mm-hmm. So how is there a division in all of this? I don't understand. Yes. Yes, Tapa. Should not play all the A players, coach Greg. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's wrong. This team should have been mixed. But all I'm saying though, they play the bad A team. Everybody going, oh, and then they did guys go down Costa Rica. We say, oh, we don't need them. We don't need our English ball. Yeah. The team need to mix coaches, Greg. That's what the team needed. Yeah. To so be mixed and play. 
podcast and the players. You ever tell me say a man that have big in the life, Bobby Reed and in the life, Daniel Jackson. These are players that he played in the Gold Cup. Mm-hmm. Right? Andre Gray. But where the division is coached, I don't understand where the division is in the team. And the reason why some of these local players get called like fish and some of them because there was like a red list issue with some of the countries that the English players cannot go to. Mm-hmm. You know where I come from? Yeah. And, 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 um, and, 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 what you call it? And, um, Ruth posted something on his story that, that, yeah, we lost and we want to try again. And we have to come out and say we need to play as a team together. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I do not understand what people are saying. People saying they want top of the loop so they can come out. I don't want to lose, right? But people have their opinion and they're going to speculate so much things. They're going to come up with some false argument where they don't really know. Research the argument if they come out and say, right? Because mm-hmm. if the man have division, he won't, he won't play no English players in his team. You get where I come from? Yeah, and, yeah. and people saying stuff like, oh, because we're well, going to want Mikel and we're going to want this. Coach is that what is both of the injured? Who are you going to play? You need, you need depth in your squad. Plus, Quality yeah, depth in your squad. Yeah, red card situation. Have, card situation, sorry, not red alone. Because your prime eggs that poor bird got two yellow cards and there's nobody there. Who are you going to Huh? That's so you need quality in your team. You need to mix the team, find this couple of games, and this is a learning setting for the coach. Mm-hmm. Us, right? I don't think Papa is a long term progress. But I'm not giving this work a qualifier. And I, 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 I think he can do something, coach. I think, really, I think really the team still qualifies. It's not a runaway. It's not a far runaway. What well, I'm saying to you guys, fans, you're making opinions, yes, yeah? and everybody's free to their opinions, right? But all I'm saying, though, if the guy they was not, if, if guys never like English players, there was no reason for Asian Mara for the team. A long, 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 long time to play Asian Mara for one. Anthony Grant come in, he played constantly good game top of rest. Mm-hmm. And if division was top of putting like parlor, so when up against English people. These are the things that people really need to look into in a coaching deck. Mm-hmm. These are people that say, yo, the man who are pitching and team are rest. The only reason why I is in this team is because the red list situation plays in Kulip and the Mexico coach. Mm-hmm. And me and you know that coach. You get where I come from? Yeah, so yeah. people have their own opinion. You gonna come from and uh, and and I think some of the players in the team, see, I I I believe they will start the vision, but I think uh, players like Damian Lowe, he like Anthony Grant. They gonna come from the always Anthony Grant and them are part of the lobby and all of them. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. later, the the hotel, they gonna make pick up for Albert's life. Oh, division nineteen coach, please explain up there, big people. Please explain this to me. Oh, the division. We're not come out. We're not come out with anything that's fuck. That's all. Never say what you say. All Where right. Come from? Yeah, Alex. All right. So there you have it. Big up, big up. All right, big up, Alex. So there you have it. Alex, come out and say, "Can't have a division and the man them apart." So the division posse. Alex, take one out. Guna, big up yourself. Big up yourself, Guna. Hey, I'm out. I missed you, Mister. Come in. Um, caller. We have 15 more minutes. 15 more minutes for the callers. Isaac not coming to Jamaica because of how the coach handled the English players. All right. Rob Smith. Rob Smith, sir. Let see what I'm saying. Yeah, I might disagree with you at times, but you're a fun like me. Don't believe everything you hear. All right. And Ian has the same source. Good. All right. I just, Leon Bailey, Ravel, and Antonio needed in this squad. No, sir. Well, that's. People, people, hit the like button. Just hit the like button. All right, Richard Stevens, big up yourself. Jamaican Guna, big up yourself. So, um, the great Jairus, great in CD, one and all. To be or not to be, is this the question? Are there levels of being Jamaican? No, there's no levels. Of being Jamaican, whether you're in the diaspora or in the in the in the cool hills of Beverly Hills or down in the in the, the slum, you are still you are still a Jamaican. You know what I mean? All right, people, I might miss. So, um, 
calling line still open, people. You're free to call, share your opinion on the topic. So when the, when when the when the panel when the panelists them come on, October seven is the next game. It's a home game, but because we are on CDC's list to watch, our red list as they call it, we might have to go not to play those games. That's what they say. Bowser is not a match winning player as yet. Let me make something clear. I'm not a part of the top of out movement and I don't take hearsay to court. So approach me accordingly. <laughs> All right, Mikhail. <laughs> Roof versus Nicholson. Who is the better finisher? <laughs> All right, Robert, you're a correct somebody around here, so. God bless you. Alex, you're... Uh... Hey, every time that's what me I trick me, you know, man. Anyways. Carla, welcome to the show. Yes, man. Big up, big up yourself. Ba boss, man. Big up to the list, man. Boss, man. I'm not going to tell you if you take off that beautiful lady or buy something. But I have to go learn this, you know. <laughs> Me have to learn, you know. Because when me hear the voice, you know, it just yeah, chew up we... everything in us. I me mean, never tell if you take her off, you know. I learn, I know. So, so once I sit there. You don't have to that. No, man, you, you don't have to change, you know. I learn. Know, you know, me know what, what is it now. So I want to hear it different. So I learn. Big up I yourself, man. Welcome, man. Welcome to the yeah, show, man. man. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know what? Yeah, man. All the time, respect. You would want to say, Coach. Um, mm -hmm. Now is the time to to reset. Now is a good time to reset and mm -hmm. the division because I am a part of the division because I am a I am a tapper out. Okay. However, now is not the time for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think after after the game against Costa Rica, um, the the players show heart, they show fight, and I think for most part the coach got it right. Um, you can't blame the coach for what transpired against against Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. I think it was lack of quality um, okay. at, at, at various points in the game. Now, as I said, you know, some people talk about the fight and the heart and the motivation that the players play with um, against Costa Rica, and that was evident. We all we all saw that. Now, moving forward, I think the challenge is. How are we going to get the UK-based players who who will we will admit have a little bit more quality mm -hmm. than, than some of the players that played against Costa Rica? How are we going to get them together? You know, integrate those players and find the perfect balance. Mm -hmm. And that is the challenge moving forward. Okay. And, I, and it is, in my opinion, coach, if we can find over, if we if we can find that balance, that delicate balance uh, between the UK based players and the players that play against Costa Rica. We can win all three games in the next in the next qualifying round. That is my belief. All right. And that's it, right? Yes, we, 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 we can get yeah man, and that's it. We can get nine points. So I think now is is a time to reset and heal and move forward. And yeah, also yeah. before I go, I want mm -hmm. to say we would want the government to think seriously about getting funds in the stadium. It's not even five thousand because we need all the support. The boys need yeah, all yeah. the support that they need, um, that they can get moving forward to get these nine points. And I will give them this advice before I leave. They are on the, they are on the, the COVID, the COVID, um, the vaccination drive. They can tell them get people who are vaxxed to be in the stadium. And people who don't want to take the vaccination probably will take it just to go and see the boys play. So the government can look into that one. And I'll leave it here. All right. Big up yourself, man. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, man. All right. So, let me see our caller come in. Let me see if I... Caller, welcome. You're alive. 
person I know. I call about that person here. We got a person and um caller, welcome. You're you're live. You have been calling, man. I we're missing the call. Yeah, caller. Yeah, coach. Yeah, man. Bless up. Welcome to the show. Yeah, man. I run here again, man. I just, me just remember important points from my left out. So enough people don't realize from what you see me. Watch it now. Oh. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see what they're going in at the side of now. Mm-hmm. When you pull about them, go up. Mm-hmm. You realize how Speedy Williams and, and Grant hold the back line like a defender. Mm-hmm, like a, mm-hmm. anybody, no people don't realize Mr. Speedy Williams on the back and defend, you know, all the back line when you pull about them go up, you know, they fall in play. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. people don't realize that. No, you know, people are talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, that's true, true. So right now, many people are talking about Ravel, Ravel, this team play for Derby County and look good. Right now, I'm not sure what Ravel are doing, I said. I'm going continue to keep. CD and Grant as my midfielder. Okay. Because I see them all. And you see, all the matter about the rest of you, when he Johnson, I'm mm-hmm. not starting back in my side. Okay. He won't have a match and twist, twist, twist and turn, turn too much. I <laughs> like when the ball, me like when the ball, me like when the ball kick crap. <laughs> wow, what is When speed is up on the field, I see pressure. Yeah. When in the panic field, you have to be a black party ball playing for you. You can't manage them ball game. You want the ball to go forward, a goal you want to score. Mm-hmm. Attack me like it. Attacking ball game me like it. Okay. Yeah, man. All right, Romeo. So, as I'm now, so, it's like how you wing back them and go up there now. Mm-hmm. And so, Antonio Gordy, I get what well, I pass them now. Plus, my game I make it. Mm-hmm. Plus, when Bobby can pass them, tell me a panic. Yeah, so, I got me out there now. So, I need to tell that point there, I'm going to get you off from, get you to tell you there now, man. So big up yourself, you yeah, watch the program. Yeah, All right, Romain, big up yourself. Thanks for calling, man. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, people. <laughs> Romain, I talk up the things then, based on what he observed. So, any more call coming in? Probably get on the next five minutes. Where's the Siobhan? All right, this is something that's coming in. Carla, good night. You're alive. Carl, good night, coaches. This is, this is Wayne from Tallahassee. All right, Wayne from Tallahassee. Welcome to the show, man. First time you're calling? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Uh, love the show that you do, you know? Yeah, man. Very informative. Uh, although, although sometimes a bit controversial, but, you know? That's part of the game also, you know? Mm-hmm. So what say you now? Yeah. What say you? Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think we can qualify for the World Cup, but I think you know we need to have unity, and that starts from from management down to the coach and to the players. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, we need a we need a we need a a blend of local based players and English based players. All right. I mean, if a player is not good, whether he be local or overseas, we're gonna say. To me, Blair Turgot is not good. Hello? A local base player is not good. Just say. Mm-hmm. We don't want a captain. He should be a leader. When he made the comment about why they're coming now, or not why they're coming for World Cup qualification. I mean, he should have. He should, he should never have said that. That was when the division started. He is the one who started the division. The players can only come when they are called. Mm-hmm. You know, and for him to say that it was a big, it was a big disappointment. You know. Yeah. And I mean, as I said before, I think, I think if we unite, we can make this thing happen. You know, because we have, we have the talent. Mm-hmm. Um. So it can happen. But uh, as I said, the unity is what we need. You know. So 
big up to you on your program and, and all the viewers and um and all the the panelists. All right, big up yourself, man. From right, Tallahassee. So thank you. Yeah, man. Cool. All yeah. right, there, there, cool. there you have it, man. From Tallahassee. All right, let me see who was calling. You know, get the call already, man. Or different. No, the same number. Yeah, people, we have five more minutes, four more minutes before we um, end the calling segment. But I mean, big up to all the folks who are calling. Yeah, man. Man, they shared their point of view, the views that they share were their opinion. You know what I mean? Um, some strong opinion. Some going by what you know others are saying, or based on what they have observed as well. So can't fight a man team opinion. You know what I mean? All right, there's a call. <laughs> Caller, welcome. Night, cool. Yeah, man. Good night. Hey. First, before me go send the old father go, just while the general saw some other players say. And the captain start this. No matter from one year ago, he has been a very promoter statement. Hmm. No matter of the he has been a promoter statement. Oh, he cannot change the side and he can't tell everyone. Every time after a couple match, he can't tell everyone different different things. Hmm hmm. And no matter one big argument he has. Back to Sunday match now. Hmm hmm. So the match. He can be in Papa. Papa is a great coach. Papa is a great coach in the Caribbean overall. So I support Papa 100%. Mm -hmm. But, however, the federation, now the Papa, and sure, the pick who to go for the team. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Because if they didn't get Papa, the can sure, the way they do, so they match, who do they go Because if you leave the Papa interview, Papa tell, actually tell them about this. How them chain on the Saturday, mm -hmm. they to be attacking, attacking. However, when they was on the field, they were there defending. Mm -hmm. Simple means, all those players were on the field, don't really attack. Because Papa even said, even you can uh, in a top of two of them by and to uh, um, the leading goal scorer you know, in the past four goal after a couple three matches over some you remember him top of the rating we do him our great goal scorer because he come down the rest no matter them reject him when he was twenty one but twenty five and them call him Feel like him a king. I tap on you know, him. Feel like him a king. So tap on the real one. You know, what the coming inside? I feel like say uh, the side a be tap a one man. Mm -hmm. Right now, you see Costa Rica match and Mexico match. You call them play. Them play like them know them feel that. For the match, we have to turn up all the TV. Okay. Yeah, I'm bleak. I need it. I carry on the phone. I'm yeah. bleak. I need it. I need it. Mm-hmm. Well, people, I'm people, I'm people, 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 give you a hard time when they say Tapa is a great coach, you know. They might give you a hard time in the comment section. <laughs> who, who do you have the most results of the coach right now? Tell me who unfortunately coach in the Caribbean who is more than Tapa. Right now, if you just look how the federation are dealing with Tapa, Tapa is not a man to come out and talk because when they come out and talk, they lose the work. Tapa is a labor man and just take it and walk to work if you are shaming. Listen, everyone, if you listen to the whole life, the man in Pandemica, the Tapa coach rates to the board. Look what he is. Tapa doesn't really have 10 of them, but with a better chance, if it's the first half, they're not playing properly. 
Even Maggie said, they're going to change the room mm -hmm. and talk to them. And they come out a different game. Total different game they start with. That was like the eighth year where we had this fucking win. World Cup one year. Right? Am I right or am I right? That was the eighteen. of the best coach right now. That's your opinion, sir. Can't take away your opinion. What? But for the reason that we just need help, Saka is the best coach for them right now. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, Carla, Carla, we have called for help for the coach. Assist, able assistant, him get able assistant. Physio, Masua, all of these things. You see, when the man them go out and match them in the recovery bag, pants thing. And all of them things there. So he has he has been getting most. I don't know if he has gotten all of the things that he had, he, he asked for. So what more help you think you want? You can't say need all he need is help, help. We have we have lobbied for help and him get most of the things you may ask for, if not all. That's true enough. But I just stop and just keep doing in my mindset to you. I'm mean, like team days when he moves just a qualified work up. And keep us calm and composed. No the matter we do, we cannot get we don't run off a team. We don't like to go off a team. That's why it matters man like that. That's not top of play them type of ball. All right, Carla. Mexico, I'll trust her so much. I'll try him play him. I'll try him need to play Mexico. I'll trust her so much. I'll try him play ball. All right, Carla. Big up yourself, the man from Clarendon. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, cool. So, people, we have come to the end of the mm -hmm. calling segment. Big up to all the callers. <laughs> all the callers. Big up on yourself. Yeah, man, we got a whole lot of calls. You see, all one call still are coming. And we have got to drop the link for the panelists. Then, do a panelist time, do Yeah, man. Panelist time. But well, may I go and take the caller and until we, 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 we drop the link. Caller, you're live. Yeah, man. Hello? Caller, you're live. Hello? Yes, caller, you're good live. Night. Hello, good night. Good night. You're not hearing me. Coach Death. Yeah, man, I'm hearing you. Yes, I have uh, my two cents to say in a push there. This is quickly, quickly, in yeah, a time. Uh, I'm always in a oh, look, that caller calling our caller going on. I think that caller needs to go work on his meds, you know. He had a week more of eight losses, four draws, and two wins in 14 games. And he described in the coach as a great coach. Yeah. I am not going to say that top out, you know. However, because that is not my call. But I'm sure that eight losses, four draws, and two wins, any other coach in World Cup qualification with that resume, would have kicked out on his feet by any decent administration. <laughs> So what what you said, the man, the, what you said, the man, the man, the man, the man, you don't think that is disrespectful, man? I'm putting it mildly and I could go worse, but I'm being diplomatic about a comment like that, Coach Kojlet. <laughs> I'm being very diplomatic. All right, boss, I hear you. <laughs> I enjoy your night. Yeah, man, big up yourself, man. Thanks for calling. <laughs> All right, so the caller said he was being diplomatic to the caller. All right, tell him, hey, when I best around here for real. You know? <laughs> so no more call. We won't be taking any more calls, people. That's the last call for the night. So thanks again to all the people. Then. You see, when we get full time in the caller. So the link is out, panelists. Link is out. Some, some, some pretty interesting call. Pretty, pretty interesting call. Pretty interesting point of views from the callers. I, I, I think a glimpse of comments so that we need more, 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 more lines to call in. If we have five lines, if five persons, them are going to wait the same way. Because once somebody is talking, you have to wait. We can't put two, three people on the line. 
So I think what the, the one line is sufficient so far. What say you? One line is sufficient so far, man. So panelists, jump on, jump on, panelists. Let your voice be here, be heard um, via camera rather than being behind whatever devices that you are behind. All right, so all right, let me see if we can check out some of the comment uh, comment section. Look hot. Let see what people laughing and fire on them something there. Let me see what we can start from um, right here. Paul Allen Burton went under the same pressure 98. His mind reader this are top of most <laughs> top of only for me an artist for me. Not even God can't help top of most go. Carla, we just have to be honest. The Costa Rica team isn't the best. Sean Sutherland, you is a fool if the squad Sunday had grand. They would play a better game. <laughs> Fabian so said, four minutes of coach. <laughs> Jero say, Carla, I. <laughs> hey, you're savage, you know? Ian I prefer JFF over Tapa as JFF is the lesser of the two evils. Mm. They're not, they're not easy. Top one needs to be paid. God bless you. It's a time of coach. The coach don't even know how to make the changes, bro. See, my man's a tapper out fire. Tapper got everything he wanted for the Gold Cup, and we still never playing a ball. Justic Seymour, get this man. <laughs> Nikai James, the worst scholar ever. People stop talking, man. <laughs> What type of game strategy does Tapa have as a coach in his head? We just want to change a coach. Man, you know, after something more, when, when, when you get to, you know, can't manage it up. Clarendon in the house, Shepard Givens, big up. Wesley Hall, big up yourself. You tell about them country, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, them people are easy, you know. Coach is a lame call that. I remember I said, who that guy I call them out of his team, you know. Top of this guy's advice, but <laughs> shut up, be yourself. Be yourself. All EPL players will be allowed to play tomorrow. Okay, cool. Um, let's be honest. That fight we saw from the team in Costa Rica, we have been calling for them to fight for some time. No one because them know. Their friend job was on the line, they finally fought. <laughs> Clarendon man, them disown him. <laughs> Where's the Clarendon man? They disown him. Hey, right now, the person that is on, I know, host me. I see you know, me not asking nobody. Papa is a good, he's a great coach. I don't know about that coaches, and Tapa Tapa was a great coach. Which are we wanted. I don't understand that comment. Tapa can't tactically make an impact. Final is time. Last call. Yeah, man, yeah, man. We say last call. We say Ricky Dang say, no, stop, say so. It's the one shot time. It's kind of quiet tonight, you know. I don't want us to get all excited about Costa Rica performance. Yes, it was a good performance, but Costa Rica is a very poor team. Interesting. Jer, um, Kimo. Yeah, do you Hold on, Kimo. You look like you have no shots, brother. <laughs> How are Kimo going out there? Hey, Kimo, you don't know what people are back there. <laughs> People, I was so I go out. I was so really I go out. With. So I realized that international show this. <laughs> hey, Jamal. Hey, them people are savage, you know. Coach, your phone need an idiot block list. <laughs> Feature because <huh? laughs> we don't even be able to serve with us. The man, man. <laughs> 
Shad bless, big up. <laughs> Jesus, please. The man come out with no shot to the start. <laughs> if man like a shot, I go see that. No problem, man. Boy, I'm see where I get a call in about. <laughs> Real man, where's the man at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> me at <heart>, man, me at, <laughs> and that somebody say like, <laughs> come in, you know, me at, so me, yeah, man, me at, me at, anyway, that, me just got two on my shirt. Well, I'm going to uh, look like a hotel room, man, that's so, mine, you know. <laughs> Yeah, man, we're on the road, coach. We're on the road. <laughs> travel, travel, coach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, boy, uh, the referee, them we still have look for them from last night. Yeah, man. Side come all the way at Tampa. I could have gone to support my side. Referee, yeah. them. I'm yeah. the audacity to rob my side last night. I know I'm a ball for the fall. The push off and the catch there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, the robbery one last night, but. Don't know an international show came where you have always remember that one. Remember, say so you have Cowboys fans over, you have Chelsea fans <laughs> over, you have little bit of man new spring about the place. And I'm not a little bit of a man. I don't know, I know say, I'm an Arsenal jersey. I'm going to take it off. So, I'm going to take it off. So, I'm going to take it off. All right, you can do it, but you should have put on my shirt. Ryan Barker, what's going on? So, Jay, what say you? Antonio, player of the month, daily back. And your assessment of the um, three game um, run we have in the world. Yeah, man. So, um, so, it's a good look. Reggae boy, international, Jamaica international, Michael Antonio, mm -hmm. player of the month, you know? It's a good look and a good sound to it. It's have a nice ring to it, you know. Jamaican international, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. First time uh, we get them big thing there. But um, so Billy running on the side tomorrow. I hope he's not come down the right the, the right wing, you know. Stay up on the left, you know, cause well, who well, don't want to run up in there? Well, yeah. There, someone said that you have to talk about the the next Jamaican international that is going to run on your team tomorrow. <laughs> You know, that me I talk about right now, man. I me I talk about, you know. Go I'm ahead. Not man. Man. I'm going to run up and down up there and stay up on the left side. Maybe Reese James go easy for him from the left side. Mm -hmm. But if he come over the right, man, no prisoners. They don't know Rudy Rudy got play already. And it's a welcome to the Premier League moment. If he come over there with a pretty boy, I think, from the... On the right side, so as long as you stay over on the left, you know, things can go on, move him around the middle and thing, doing things. But it's a like different ball game because them man, they are harsh tackle in the ETL. No one around the, run down the, the, the left side, that's up on them. Man, mm -hmm. So, what really does doing thing and does playing game and play to the coaches and nobody would be pretty much over there. So. But who are no prisoners? They don't know. Go. Best defense in the league. Oh, so we can't wait for see him, especially in our game like tomorrow, you know? Yeah, I know for the man them good things they're injured still, but we've been training. God, uh, I guess that's what the the media or the Jamaica media have it. Why he's been he missed the um missed the throw that was yeah injury. I thought we not put it out there. For the international media, because I enjoy training. Fit already as an as an agent, and that said, he's a hundred percent fit and ready. So we'll see what he have to offer tomorrow when he come back to the Premier League and the next round. Start. Yeah, man. Katarak, what say you? Speak. Welcome, Katarak. <laughs> I want to sound like him in an echo chamber. <laughs> I don't know, Rasta. 
Um, yeah, coach, with there, Wesley, our team captain of the old family, Ricky Dance, Brown Man Security. You don't know that thing, but Jervis Paris, Doreen Brown, you know, Muma, Anna Lee, everybody, big up on yourself, near and far. Um, somebody, somebody, take the mute. Uh, well, coach, that matter to see, you know, it's going to be a baptism of fire. Nikai James, you don't know. Um, it's going to be a baptism of fire. Because mm -hmm. it's not one of those um, give me teams. It's one of the teams that fighting to win the Premier League, known for a strong defense. You know, so let's see what Chippy can do. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four hours from now. Yeah, so let me know an argument. But let's watch and see. Twenty-four hours from now. Oh boy, Liverpool pick up five. Yeah. Sure. Oh, God. Um, we have the cup then, but I saw a little delusional. I saw, I think, a man you think this. I saw the run game on side by. Um, we have had a few additions, Lee's, but I'm not Lee's going to come to talk about, you know. Um, and so we'll see. So whoever has a five, that go with you. But, um, Bailey, uh, as a coach, you're going to be a baptism of fire. It is not uh, a all right. Chelsea. Hold on, hold on, put up a, from Paul Marvin Paul. He said, "Well, me not tell you, I'm gonna read it." Coach, oh, you need to tell the panelists to be more professional. Kids watch the program, and in the comment section, you have to kind of tone it down to sometimes. Because yes, but, as them say, children watch the show. I'm probably uh, uh, not having him children them beside him. So I, I don't know. I don't know what happened with baptism of fire. Or what is the offensive word? Baptism of fire. You don't know. Um. <laughs> Reminds me of bedtime, the kids. <laughs> yeah, but. but. I mean, we don't use offensive language and things, but we do use adult rhetoric. Big people, sure. <laughs> and a pepper pig. The children look chubby. And a pepper pig. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Yeah, Um. let's see. We have talked about this for years, and the moment has come. If he's starting from, from the start, it's different from come out for 20 minutes when people tired, you know. Damon Oliver, wow. Marching on together, my family. Marching on together. Ayla, always leads, always win. You know that thing they go. Um, but like when you take down the leads coming fast, you know, like all oh, them tired of the, the Liverpool thing, they put it up long, 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 long. Um, daily dose, don't look for money, you know, it's a pepper pig. Okay. Um, yeah, man. So, what, 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 what's, what's, but what's I watched, I watched, I watched the video, of course. Um, huh? I watched Birmingham Derby taking a about 35 minutes of it. That that be um Ravel mm -hmm. went down two nil. Um Chong, the the loan the loan signing from Birmingham mm -hmm. really had a mm. run rings on Ravel. So I don't know where the Derby fans at the new Derby fans. Yeah, I actually that. watched that game, you know. Tight wow. Chung looked good. Chung looked good. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. No man Chung looked like a, 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 a young maestro. You know? Um, well, we talk about that playing games outside, but um, so what do you take on Isaac Hayden saying now play for Jamaica? I, I don't know where you heard that from now. That I me mean, because the last time we, we were on the show, it was a positive vibration we got. Yeah, so. but somebody tell us big up to yourself. I am so, sure. 
So, um, according to Simon, he reported it last tonight on him um, channel live, and he read out a statement where Isaac um, replied to him okay, on okay. IG or Instagram or something. But he did verify that it is from the real Isaac Hayden, and it had the blue check next to it. So he oh. said something in the context like, well, you know, man, them not comment can say. Him say him not interested. You see me? And even if England don't call him, him still, still not interested. No. He just want to focus on him club game. Just yeah. like I'm playing some ball. Yeah, yeah, in certain yeah. smart with the main, main, main thing where the man said is he's not gonna accept an invitation or a call because he's not committed because he want other players out there that's more committed than him. So me hear the commitment. I'm a, I'm a see not hear it, but me hear him read it out. So the commitment right. part. Of it. So so that is a good thing from one person who believes he's not committed. Um, right yeah, now. at least in space. Yeah, in space. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, sure. Well, coach, you know, we never really remember say I want ball that made I beat the jump for still I beat the jump this day for me. Believes that the answer at the center of the park there for you know. Until this man take up the call or accept or you know um reach out to her or whatever, I him had the answer for me you know. So in the meantime, Anthony Grant and Kevin Stewart. Can go and lock it down in the meantime. But it's a Lewis Baker, I believe, say, is the man to run at the middle of the park. Mm -hmm. And man, then we say Baker uh, more of a center and an attacking player and stuff like that. The last game when represent Chelsea, keep in mind that going forward, him was a CDM, and then when them defense, him dropping at the middle of the back three, and him was a center uh, in another game there. So is it maybe in rules being changed under Toko? I can see something in a training and thing and developing that part there in game. But yeah, is uh, that is the answer for me until um until that time come Kevin Stewart, Anthony Grant, and I hear rumblings um cousins having papers and ready, you know, and can do a thing until them man they come. Back. But yeah, to respect because at right. least him said it, and uh, I would even say it harsh, but just respect it. I look into it immediately once we get that for him. You, you think this? You think this is the reason? I don't think this is the reason. You know, um, Andre well, Beckford. Eh, uh, it could be. It could be, but I, I think either Isaac Aiden was. But Isaac Hayden, I had heard that from him before, the very same quote. Mm -hmm. um, I had heard different things from him more recently. But at the end of the day, you're welcome now. But I will tell you, all that. Isaac Hayden is the real deal, as I see here. So when a man go around that, mm. right? But what we see in Costa Rica, Heart can make up for a lot of it, you understand? And the love for the country can compensate for some things. Um, because Anthony Grant, not no, in an Isaac Hayden class, but he did work for it. Mm. Because him heart there, and him, and him, him passion there, and him love there for Jamaica. So, big up yourself, Isaac Hayden. Hope the man didn't clap your foot again. Kevin Stewart come in, Jordan cousins in the on the radar, and we have a couple of youth in IGP. We are work with over. Um hope you're ready when we qualified over there. That's the only thing we know. You're not already, man. Try you, now, alone. you shall you shall get a no. Yeah, yeah man, this is this some is, people, this some people some don't try when 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 they see when they see say. When they say the World Cup, the World Cup, and then you make so now and never try forward in, even though you are better than the players, 
really better than the player. That really good CDM. Now I got work, bro. You need the party fence. Now you jump on five fence. Yeah, yeah. So, that go with this thing. He know I'm playing on international football. Mm. I hope yeah. Newcastle get relegated to Trump Court. That do work. <laughs> you got play some championship football. Yeah, but yeah, but no one to play some championship football at all. Liam Moore gets to put on something, buddy. I don't like when them talk like that, you know. Just keep yourself quiet, no man. I just said a thing, but you don't want to play for us? No disrespect. Only for time we call after girl and then don't look back. Psst, you don't look back. So we call for you, you don't look back. Pick up yourself. Yeah, man. And, and, and again, this man no, said a lot of you guys does cataract and grant bad and now grant is a savior priceless so i got anthony the big dog and some of them still not chatting up some of them start to make up things but when the man is doing that game of course we just have to sit down and laugh big up anthony big dog one one still i watch one 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 still i watch a costa rica game but in transistor radio you know i tv we have a little close anger yeah, where well, you have to bend or one man outside of turn the antenna and it, it grainy. it. Uh, if you say man, uh, if you know see say Anthony Grant and Speedy match the Costa Rican them in the middle. They are wicked. Um one, one done M M U F C I don't agree with you that Isaac Hayden is not good. Isaac Hayden is, is Isaac Hayden not a real deal to see you know, Go around the market. So, of course, yeah, yeah, more, more, yeah, special, special, uh, big up and thanks to Manning's man. The whole season, I tried this float thing and this, um, what the other one name, man? What's the other stream? The JPL games, the man, thing. um, sports man, sports man, yeah, man, I'm a joker, man. So, then the red flag, I'm a say. So, uh, Manning's man, we finally get hype on the game today between um, of you and it, garden. Watch mm -hmm. the world thing in the court. Oh, man, then get chance after chance and couldn't put where Anna got in star. I must say, Anna get a chance before the end of the hour. The man, nine six yard box, I must say, kick him out straight up like a ping pong in my plate. From the one defender in front of him, the goal, goal at the mercy, and the man does a kick straight. I must say, it's like a God sign, say, but I'm never going in it. Because uh, how about you end up winning? No, three points. Gone to to the knockout, and I'm supposed to play either um, Mount Pleasant, who them beat earlier in the season, or uh, Tivoli Garden. So big up to the stars from the East. One view, how about you? Big up yeah. Manning's man. Thank you for that. Yeah, um, Manning's man. So so, so I go on and said, Drew, Manning's man of the show, <laughs> the sports max. <laughs> we know people show up and get light. We don't let that show up and get game. We don't let that show up and get game. Thank you, welcome. So, 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 so people, they know what? say big debate I have the sequel, you know. Because the first round finish, so we need to sit down and, and think about it, the moat again, and just see who are going to take it this time, Cranky or Cataract. <laughs> um but as as we speak about um we speak about bro boy it has be a new name of michael jackson i mean never say a moonwalk like that for man is my show this has been the boy never say bad all <laughs> <laughs> no judge of god the man <laughs> says him ass we granted the 10 years ago and we all get the answer with the youth did it 10 years ago. And this thing said, I uh, saw so it run like how England run. You may get a call up. But, you know what I mean? I kind of my fault to come because I said to come show him 10 years ago too. But I did not know. So did I go on him time there. But um, I watched the Harbour View. I tried to watch the Harbour View. Um, and it Gardens game. It, 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 it. it. Coach, it punishing, and I, the man I'm watching game just talk. It, it punishing. Me watch three man 
you, you know, when the minister of health minister announced, they kind of said the mu m the mu variant, they are Jamaica for the Ooh. COVID. Mu. Oh. And the and the Delta. But the G, the J E variant there too. The Jevon East variant. That's when it in a six yard box. I kick him out and can't get it to that goal. That variant there to be Actually, the first man tried to kick him out in that goal. But them never say him offside, get her. It, it don't matter. But them man the onside. But they them 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 are uh, Jevon East, the thing I catch like the dirt bounce. Yeah, man, like every man I try it like a dirt bone. Big up, German East. You understand? But even if you ask the ball to go in there back, again, there's no excuse for that. That we saw. So, let's say that. But it's it rough, though. Okay, but because I watched 45 minutes, we couldn't turn on the TV for the second half. Let's go in the studio or listen to them. Um, and and big up, Dre, anywhere that forgive me the thing that the veteran love the palm. But they said, if you take a free kick, you know. Them say I never even take the free kick, so I don't know. Um, All right, so but Stan is in the house, that's so another yeah. one. So I met them right Thank you. And welcome, Michael and Rome. Cranky, what say you on the topic? Which topic? We are, we're talking about number of topics. Cataract no, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no low, Cranky. Huh? Let me change my headset. Let me change my headset. All right, Michael, what say you? Until the stand. Um, Until the stand. Um, Hold on, you're telling me I'm a feeling for Stan? Why? No, what man, that disrespect, I, no, man? <laughs> no, man, yeah, take your space. Your space, man. <laughs> you should feel good about that, Michael. We're talking. <laughs> Michael, I'm going to Rome, Rome, go and talk, yeah? Rome, um, 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 don't, don't, don't talk to Rome. Don't talk to Rome, because I've seen Rome there. Don't talk to Rome, don't talk to Rome, don't talk to Rome. But Michael, you should be have to fill in for me. That's an accomplishment. I don't know why you don't like to be an accomplished person. But let me just say this. There are a couple of things to say. One is why cataract tons of everything like that. Every every time a YouTube thing pop up, I cataract me see. Me yeah. I'm nightmare. We got a better cataract me see. No man, hey, you know what it's time to say. You don't know, you don't know, figure out your bad dream, but boy. No, no. I didn't say I dream, you know. I swear, God. I didn't say I dream. I didn't say I dream. I didn't say I dream. I dream. I don't know where you're talking about. I don't know where you get this from. But dream. Dream up, man. But anyway, when I dream up, man. No matter what. I said, I'm in bed. And I'm watching my TV. And Ketterak is on the TV. I didn't say anybody dream. Mind yourself, not Ketterak. Mind the argument there. Mind the argument there. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's, let's, let's get back to what I'm talking about here. About the football. I want to say something level set. So we, I hear all this comments from commentators, whether it's TVJ, YouTube, whatever it is, talking about because we had a decent result in the, in the Costa Rica game, the divisive thing about English players versus locally developed players. Let me just say something. We were missing in this whole equation. I said it numerous times, not in this forum, which is Costa Rica allowed us to play. <clears throat> Costa Rica allowed us to play. And we don't play well with pressure. Panama and Mexico didn't allow us to play. So therefore, if you play football, which I know Rome still does, I'm not sure how or why, but anyway, he still does. When somebody's in your face and in your back, it's very hard to be comfortable, pick your passes out, 20 yard pass, five yard pass. It's very, very difficult to do that. And talk to Lord Catarac, you can't manage the pressure. In the camera, turn it on. In the camera, you press the title mode here because we're excited. We're excited. excited. Get, get, get your sound engineer, sound crunky, I sound like a jump on. Not gonna lie. It, it, is, a, it is actually a beast. I had a bones before. It was a beast. So it may be a little loud because there's a lot of bass in beats, but you wouldn't understand. But anyway, let me, let me finish what I'm trying to say. When somebody allows you to play, you can look really good. Think about Man City and Liverpool. They don't allow you to play. They're in your face. And when you have space, if you're a footballer, you should be look good. The team that played in Jamaica and the team that played in Mexico didn't have that space, weren't allowed that room to maneuver, and therefore, they struggled. I expect English players to have done better. Given the level they play, they're very disappointing. So always think about that caveat, which is 
We were allowed to play, and yes, we played decent. But frankly, I saw Costa Rica in CONCACAF in Florida. I've seen them again. They were a little bit slow. They were a little bit older. They're not the same Costa Rica we're used to. Yes, we played. And this whole thing about patriotism and people played harder, that wasn't really the case. Jamaica picks a team which is put in square pegs in round holes. Nobody in the middle of the park. Ravel and DJ don't play middle. In play like in a CDM role, or play deep and can defend. They can't. So you put like six forwards on the field and four defenders and a keeper. That doesn't work. That's not football. That doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. Not sure where that came from. So I just want people to sort of temper that perspective and realize that we need to blend the team because it was very chaotic what we did. Blend the team. A lot of people come together. Pick the best team. I didn't say the best player, the best team from the squad you have. And let's try to progress going forward. But if you watch Panama against Mexico, you realize that Panama is a very good team. Now people are saying, well, it's Panama because they're not big name players. They're a very good team with very good technical players. And I was illustrated how they play Mexico. They, have, they play better with Arabs, which is thing that we don't do well. Michael or Rome, you have the floor. <laughs> All right. Um... Yeah, uh, you raise a good point. Um, the, the, this is the one that I keep coming back to, which, what? Sorry, sorry, Cataract. Yes, he did raise a good point. Every now and then, each of you raises a good point. Don't don't feel badly, okay? Don't hate, don't hate, don't hate, don't hate. That's not your point, don't hate, don't hate. I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, oh, so Michael, the, 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 the Ron Robin so and so and so clean and nice to listen to. But this expensive equipment sound, sound like a real old fan. Go ahead. Well, well, that's how you sound every day, so you should know. You're an expert in that. My sound no rock, brother. My mic and thing good. Why these Demo two that. guys, this, these two Demo. coming like a married couple, you know, this, this bickering. No, 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 Is, no, is no, me no, wanting, no. sir? I live in Kingston. There's no <laughs> man a man married. Be the same. Anyway. Um, yeah, the, the, the thing is... Um, Stan is right, though. We, we still are not a team. And, you know, to expect to put out eight fresh new players who have never played together more than two, three days of training and expect any sort of performance was, was um, wishful thinking at, at, at best. Question is, will they have enough time during the qualifiers to develop any sort of chemistry because you have to mix them yeah but the problem is well from my perspective at least the problem is i have not seen in four years of watching this coach that he's really shown that capacity you know i have not seen it i have seen players brought in and they dropped into whichever position somebody didn't show up for or you know, was ill or was benched or for whatever reason. I have not seen a consistent sort of strategy that was, okay, we need this position. I'm going to try two or three players in this type of position over the next couple of games to, to get a feel which is the better of these players. I don't see that from, from, from him. And, you know, we, we have, what, 14 games um, over seven is it six or seven um periods um sessions five sessions sorry where is where is the time there to build that type of chemistry i i'm, I'm not sure where it's coming from um this is not a debate night michael but sorry stan Kroenke is wrong again so here's the thing what does stan Kroenke call aging joel campbell is 29 is that aging and he is the main threat for Costa Rica. He said, Costa Rica, let us play. That's why we looked good. Did they also let Panama play? That's why they drew with Panama. <clears throat> the same Panama that ran us ragged. So the arguments don't add up. But number three, you are at pains to point out when we were in the Euros, and you must have seen it 
or I was at pains, I was at pains, Chiellini and his defensive partner are nearly age 40. So the aging in football <clears throat> is not as you think. It's called experience. Brian Oviedo, David Ruiz are experienced midfielders. They may not have the legs that they used to have, but we had a 34-year-old in the midfield as well. It's not like we had an under-17 team. So they couldn't outplay Grant, and he was ably assisted by Speedy when needed to be. That's just how life goes. Jamaica had a good performance. I prefer to say it. We did not allow Costa Rica to play and get into the game. Then jump all over us the way Mexico and Panama did. That's what I prefer to look at it. Get your one and one plus two. Any point? Getting a first point ever in work of qualifying on Costa Rican soil is certainly a result to be looked up to. <laughs> we cannot, you, when you were looking before, no one, I was one of the persons when we were in the debate, I said, I'm looking for four points. One point against Costa Rica away and three points against Panama at home. The team that went out to Costa Rica did the job that they were expected and asked to do, which is to draw away from home. They chose to muff three, at least three full chances. And therefore we are now crying about the fact that we didn't beat Costa Rica. Yes, the ball should have gone in the back of the net and I'm waiting on ball occur. I hope he called in early on next play explain the three misses from Bosa while we celebrate the one goal first neck ball in the history of football but Stan I think you got it wrong I think Jamaica had a very creditable performance and I don't agree with you that Costa Rica is this walkover team in the in the octagonal I think we are going to hold a lot of teams and they're going to get results. All right, so good night, gentlemen. Before, before, before Roman, just rebut a little bit. So, not rebut actually. So, you're saying Costa Rica didn't give, didn't give us room to play. Is that what you're saying? They pressed us. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying we had a creative midfielder in there who was dangerous and who they recognized as dangerous. And we also had a true CDM playing alongside a central midfielder in speed. So we had all the square pegs in the square holes, which was not the case. I, 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 you are correct about the square pegs in round holes in the, in, the, in the Panama game. I will take that away from you. But when you have the, the, the players playing their accustomed role, then they are able to articulate better on the football field. Even when they're not as good as the opponents. I, I, I would never tell you that Anthony Grant is as good as Brian Ruiz as a senior. But playing his position, he has got the basic training and just kept things simple. Now, when you so put Rome, them up. Rome, 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 wait, 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 it's a long way to answer. Rome, come in. So you're saying the same team that played against Mexico, where they basically got overrun. So we played in Costa Rica, we played in Mexico, played away from home. They got overrun in Mexico. They had 27% possession. About forty some percent against Costa Rica. Well, hold up, hold up. You're saying that that construct was so great. So why did we look so poor against Mexico and look so good against Costa Rica? I have two names for you: Mario Williams and Norman Campbell. Square peg, round hole. But that doesn't truly explain the totality of the performance, no, does it? We did not have. We did not have a creative. We had Grant and Speed in the middle. We did, and they did not have a. And, and who did they have ahead of them? No, no, is, but they touched the ball 20-some times in the game. And Speedy touched it 25. Both exactly. Of them, one touched it 25, one touched it 29. I'm they touched it over 100 times against Costa Rica and less than 50 times against yes. Mexico. And I'm, and I'm saying to you for two reasons. Come on, Stan. The, the team was playing long ball football and bypassing the midfield against Mexico in case you didn't want Because to. they were being pressed, right? No, man. You don't understand. Oh, hold on. Andre, 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 And
Rome, we welcome to a consensus. Rome, take your time, Rome. Welcome to a consensus. But here's the fundamental thing in football. When I'm pressed, I have to play it longer. Was Andre Blake being pressed? Andre Blake's distribution is atrocious. Andre Blake's distribution is atrocious, period. No, but I'm asking you, you said it's because you were pressed. And I'm calling you out. I'm asking if all those goal kicks from Andre Blake that landed with the Mexican keeper yeah. by passing the midfield, was he being pressed? And the answer is no. No, the space, cataract. Here's a missed point. If I mark all the players who to receive the ball, what do I do with it? I can't play it short because they be marked short. You're missing the point. No, man. Wrong, wrong, wrong. 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 What's the game again? What's the game again? No, I've watched the game and I've watched Panama play too. You haven't watched it. No, no. I'm saying. Go ahead. Wrong. Go ahead. Wrong. Against Mexico. Wrong. Go ahead. Wrong. Go ahead. You are claiming that Andre Blake was pressed and Andre Blake had no outlet. You were being football dishonest. He threw away the possession for no apparent reason. The midfield was bypassed at times for no apparent reason. Okay, you're right, Keterak, you're right. Rome, the floor is yours. And they continued doing that in the Panama game as well. Give Rome a chance to speak. Jeez. People, the views expressed by Rome is not necessarily the views of the coach's desk. Um, have a good night. I hope you all having a good night. Uh, so here's the thing. Um, Number one, the Premier League is back tomorrow. So looking forward to laughing at Arsenal. Can't Rome, wait. You're talking about Jamaica Rome, not Arsenal. Rome. <laughs> keep, keep, you know, you got the floor, you got the floor, you got the floor. We have to put it out there. But, all right, so we could, we could get to the meat of the matter. Um, Jenga people, I will not be sitting here making any sort of excuses for this team. I, am, I refuse to make any excuses for this team. So the first thing I'm going to say regarding Jamaica football is that Theodore Tapa Whitmore needs to go. Tapa needs to leave this team. He needs to walk away. That's number one. And here's why. I'm going to lay out my argument and here's why. I believe deep down in my spirit that Theodore Tapa Whitmore does not want these UK players a part of his team. Regardless of what popular opinion might be, he do not want them a part of the team. Had he wanted them a part of the team, he would have taken the opportunity against Mexico to blend the plethora of talent that is coming from the UK with the talent that he already has and create a decent team to go up against Panama win. He neglected to do so. Why? Because Theodore Tapa Whitmore wanted to show up the UK players and make them a scapegoat. That is why he went on the press conference afterwards and said the players didn't go to war according to his plans. They didn't go and play the way he wanted them to play. First of all, he never trained them one minute. They were, they were training with Paul Hall, right? And Paul Al was there with eight man. What kind of technical work you can do with eight man? And the US of the team come and you know blend the team. You send out, you send out six attackers, two defenders to play will come from you, it come from the UK, and then you throw in the Jamaican players that will go over Mexico. Why? Because you have to have 11 man on the field. He made zero attempts to win that game. <laughs> Theodore Tapa with more set out a team against Mexico with a defensive midfielder to secure the midfield and put out Speedy Williams out there with him. Yes, they didn't have the ball as much, but they got on there and they, they went this close to, win it, to, to coming out of the Azteca with a point. Fast forward to the Costa Rica game, and they sent out the same team again with a defensive midfielder. Why was Anthony Grant in the team? Anthony Grant was in the team for help win back the ball. That was his job. That was his main job. Did we have that in the game against Panama? Did we have anyone in the game against Panama to try to win back the ball? No, we did not because Tapa Whitmore did not care. If you watch the game against, against Costa Rica, every time the ball every time the ball goes to the Costa Rica midfield or the attacker, as soon as the ball kicks towards him, that's Anthony Grant moving towards him. And when you hear someone coming on your back, that forces you to make a, to make a decision. Either make a pass or try control. And the moment Anthony Grant gets from your back, he has to make a mistake. And that's what his job. And that's what he did. And he did a very good job at it in the game. Right? That's what we needed against Panama. Panama's midfield was too completely comfortable the entire game. You understand what I say? And as such, they had a very, very, very easy game against us. And the, the UK players they come over here look like they're my baby because we send them out without any sort of structure. Today it was confirmed that Jamaica, in my memory, in my recent memory, the first Jamaican player to ever win um, EPL player of the year, player of the month, 
Mikel Antonio. I can't remember in my memory. Nobody no, will get fingered. Not correct. Not correct. I'm just, I'm just correcting you. Um, mm -hmm. please put some respect on Robbie Earl's name. Okay. Robbie well, Earl. Robbie Earl he, playing for. You yeah. notice me say my memory. Well, all right. In recent memory, in not in ancient days, in recent memory, right? <laughs> in recent memory. We have a Jamaican player for win player of the month in the EPL. And the man come, go play him very first game. In the half, not even at the office, over stadium is. See? And the man, them have the man, them play like some baby. This, the, uh, as soon as the keeper catch the ball, boom, start playing tennis. Kick it, give the other keeper. Same thing in the Mexico game. We never had no opportunity, we never have no opportunity to play any football. Because him send the man, them out there for play tennis. He did his best in the Mexico game and the Costa Rica game. But he, he he never he had no attempt to make any attempt to win that game against against um Castor, uh Panama because he he just he, he has his plan his plan from day one was to show up the UK players that's the only explanation as to why you send out two midfielders to play attacking midfield for play midfield for playing a centre midfield there's no explanation to that and they play Kemar Roof a man who just win. The Scottish Premier League playing striker. You play you put Kemaru if you go play either right middle or, or number 10 or play right next to Antonio. We don't know where he was playing. Corey Burke just playing in Mexico and you start him. What would it take for you to take one of them off of the field and put in a defensive midfielder? If you guys don't think this entire Jamaica national football program is a personal trip, then something is wrong with your thinking. Why you think Anthony Grant go down to Panama? You think he never that in not Anthony Graham, I mean um not Canada, um Java and Watson. Why do you think him going to Costa Rica? Because the man carry him steps on for making him get a game. There was no reason for him to get a game for him play in that game. There's no reason for him come on against Costa Rica. I don't think him touched the ball once. So you tell me what was the tactical reason for bringing Javan to, to the, with the team and then giving him five minutes? If Anthony Grant could play up to 85 minutes, what stop him from playing the full 90? This whole program right now, people, that we're talking about is a personal trip for certain people. They don't really care about the football. The football, with all I was sitting and say I talk about and love, they don't really care about it. Because all I was sitting and watch Panama beat the national team, three love, and there was zero effort from the coach and the JFF. For bring out the best Jamaican team. And then you go and you watch TVJ and the oral chase and the whole of them Monday. And they matter about oh, with the, the, the overseas base player, they never have no fight. Like, like I just go up on the field or run up and down alone do football. Turn out the, 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 the UK player, them look like them a mercenary. But because them going to Costa Rica and them pull off a shoulder goal, a buck up shoulder goal, and get a and get a draw. Yes, this is the team we should have moving forward. This is the best team. These guys give, give, give you a fight. Jamaica played against an average age of 40. The Costa Rica team. I remember this are the same Costa Rica team we beat in a, in a Gold Cup. And they were this close to beating us again. And in our World Cup qualifier, we never... We, it, 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 we, should have, we need to go down to Costa Rica to beat them. It shouldn't be, a, oh, we go down to Costa Rica to see if we can get a win. To me, that... that over to you, coach. All right. The man who unfiltered talking mind, you know? All right. So, some good points there. Don't know if I agree with everything, but, I mean, good Some points point. that have a challenge, though, coach. Huh? But uh, some points that need to be challenged. For example. But, uh, but I'll allow, I'll, I'll allow, um, uh, I don't want to run out from it, but I'll allow um, David Radigan <laughs> to come in if he needs to. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Richard. What say you? <clears throat> Gentlemen, I'm going to seed where I can. Greetings, Rome. Greetings, Cataract. Panelist CD. Richard Spear. No poetry for us tonight. From the barber. Cataract. Captain Cataract. Indeed, I do have a poem. And I'm gonna drop it with your permission. It's a poem. <laughs> it's a poem actually that um, I wrote and wondered 
for whom would it be appropriate? Would it be something that I just tuck away and leave in my, let me get this right, cataract notebook? <laughs> Thank you, sir. But I think it's apt. I'm here with a somewhat heavy heart. But I do believe firmly that there is some kind of a light at the end of the tunnel. Fourth official <clears throat> has come with a very strong point of view. But let me just give you this recital. You're busy painting patterns in the corner of your mind. In that dress that's made of satin, you move so warm, so free. Can I take you to the movies? I'm scrubbed up for a ride. A picture screen, Vienna. With you, I'll dance a while. And now I see what we could be. It's chemistry. You are me. The games. Get me now. The games that we, the people, play. It's not fair. The things that we, the people, say we will bear and no one will sweep us off our feet for we'll have means yes we'll play for keeps fee fi fee fi fee fi fo feed me need me be my doe. Respect, respect. <laughs> Thank you, Papa Michael. I, 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 my, I um, Richard, that is too deep a cataract. You can't have that cataract present. He will not appreciate it. He's, he, he doesn't know how to decipher it. He can't assess what you're trying to say. He can't see the analogies and similes that incorporated into that whole repertoire of what you just did. Yeah. Don't have any cataract present. You have to, you can't do that to him. You're going to destroy him. Don't do that to him. That's, that's not part of his repertoire. Let me quote a line. Since, since everybody has got poetry, let me quote a line from a poet. And forgive those who don't know Latin. Pupatria Mori. When the double cast started in a lack. Oh, we just read that. We just read that. You just read that. Where I go? We we are read. So we don't read too much. Mori. <laughs> if we are to die, let it not be like dogs. Eh, poor man, I've only for poor man. I'll put him cash. We can go in. All right, now. That's what the dog. Anyway, I want to address. Coach, I want to say something. Coach, I want to say something. Hold on, hold on. Let it ask. Hold on, let it ask. I want to address Rome. Yes, I don't know where you're coming from. I don't know where I'm going. But one thing I do know for sure, Theodore Tapa Whitmore must go. All right, carry on. <laughs> I must bar that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, off the top. Let's go. <laughs> carry on, Jotarak. <laughs> Panelists. Panelists, Rome, Rome, I appreciate that. Rome, I appreciate your forthrightness and your honesty, your personal view. It's a strong view. You've got lyrics and they're strong lyrics. Gentlemen, Coach Minzy, fun and joke aside. I want to give you a, no, give you a bar, Ruth. I'll give you a line out of the people. Like, no, Coach, let's see you a deep enough. Coach, no, coach, no it, 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 yeah, man, I'll give you my line. A poem for poem. We are, we are, we are right. We are, well, on. You say I give um, a line. Who are you directing? No man is supposed to send a poem to the man. No, no this, is, this, is, this, is, this is a clash of bars. No, be this careful. Bars. And you always come bars. up with an argument, you know. So be careful. 
coach, it is Mars coach. Because <laughs> a man come by like I just wreck hard make him play. To suffer hardness with great cheer. In sternest school of warfare bred. Our youth should learn. Let steed and spear make him one day the Patreon's dread. Cold skies, keen perils, brace his life. Methinks I see a rampier town. Some battling tyrant's matron's wife. Some maiden look in terror down. I, O oh Lord, untrained in war. O oh, tempt not the infuriate mood of the fell lion I see from far. I bet you can't tell what I said. I bet you can't tell what I said. I bet you can't tell what I said. Lunges. Hear me now. Hear me now. Through a darkest time. Coach, and the line I quoted. Not a run. 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 The line I quoted before. Not a run. Not a run. What joy for your fatherland to die. To Patriot Muri. Leave it on the field. Die for the black, gold, and green. I don't even end it. I just wanted to get to the point. I'm sure I don't know anything. To Patria Muri, you have to be willing to die for your country. Cataract. Cataract. Anyways, anyways, gentlemen, hold on. Hold, hold on. Who said that? When Buckler fling, me say, hold on. <laughs> I, of course, of course, I do them man, I fling back. I feel people are fling back. I don't want to see people saying, let me fling back. Buckler, 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 Watch. Let me see. I want to flip. Show me back. Hold on. Watch. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when I have to read it, I put him in my nose. I tell you, say it, of course. Hold the on. Poem is Hold on the man. Die for your fatherland. Get her. Side, side. I'll own, own a true buckle. <laughs> no, no man with two names can't show back. No man with two first names can't show back. We said big deal at show back too, and no people at show back for you. Know. Me, 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 I shot our first guy at show. Hey, I'm hey, hey, hey. Look, look. Hold on, hold on, gentlemen. We don't want to divert from the real matter we'll cover every time. Boy. Real we men report it. We want to assess the first three games. Right? Coach. Coach. I want to say a, something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, We want to assess the first three games <clears throat> and, and, and basically talk about what went wrong what could have been done could have been done and all of these things we have coach. limited time you know we don't want anything done now say coach we're going to more time we don't have waste no time you know coach unless yes, uh, unless yes. cranky have some bars that are coach no we're not, we're not a bars thing we're a man we're not a bars thing so coach let me say this let me say this let me say this coach let me say this coach never played football before you know i know coach let me say i've played football before yeah i have played i used to start as a forward and by the way, CD is the easiest position for the people play. CD is the easiest position for play. I played right back one game. I decided that's not my thing. And I played CD. Hold on, Cranky. What is it? CD is my easiest position to play? Yes. No. 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 no, no, no. Stop. I Just stop. L listen, I will, I will agree with a lot of what you say. But no, 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 no. I disagree. No. Okay, let me phrase that. Let's Coach, not. Let's, let's I not. thought it easy to play. Because even when I was tired, I find someone to stand beside and rest. But anyway. Let's not get into that, coach. Let me say this, coach. When you play football and somebody's in your... Let the caller earlier told you this in the coach. When have that mark out Dwight Yard. You know the worst thing as a footballer, coach? Is when... Yeah, you got your biting from, from the um, Carnation market. Coach, you know, you know something? When a, when a baller, when you're a footballer, and I'm on a close mark in the coach, and the worst thing in the football, you can't enjoy the football, no. When you stop playing the football and just want to mark you as a player, you can't enjoy the ball. When he wants to enjoy his game, he's going to give you room. Costa Rica want to enjoy their game, so they're not going to press as hard. They they don't have the legs to press. You mentioned Joel Campbell. Joel Campbell played for Arsenal, um, by the way. You didn't know this for a number of years. Always out on loan, by the way. He doesn't. He never had the legs. Never will have the legs. The team didn't have the legs to press us, unlike a young Mexico team and a young Panama team, and that's why we had so much room to play and maneuver. That's why we look so good. We have not kept the ball since I went to Orlando watching the Gold Cup. In none of the four games we played previously in the Gold Cup, nor against Mexico, against Panama, even the English players, have we kept the ball for any sustained period of time. 
We don't put we put five pass together to score that goal against Costa Rica. When have we done that? In any game, for that matter. Start out on defense and end up with the ball in a dangerous area in the opponent's um, 18 yard box. It doesn't happen. So this whole concept that you know what, because we had local players where we played so well against because they're more patriotic and they played harder. I think that's fallacy. That's not reality. The reality is in football, if you're allowed to play and you have any more to come of ability, then you should be able to do okay or be able to put string two pass together. In any league you watch where a team presses, Bayern, Man City, Liverpool, the old Barker, the teams that, and they, and they can't keep the ball, it's a very difficult game to play. So when Ketarak's in here analyzing and says, oh, Kroenke is mistaken and he doesn't understand what he's viewing, I will revert that and say, Ketarak, maybe you should go again, watch the game, or come to my school. I have classes on Sundays about 12.30. So we can talk football tactics and you can understand and learn why the pressing game, if done right, has its vulnerabilities. We don't exploit those vulnerabilities. So coach, I disagree with the whole concept of, you know what, it's because we played better against Costa Rica. I think we were allowed to play better and we take advantage of that. And even then, when we get all those goals to score, we still couldn't score them. We could have beat an average age of 40 Costa Rica. That's how bad we that's, are. That's not the average age of Costa Rica. Right. We could have beat an average age of 40. That's, that's, that's how so bad we are. It's not the average age of Costa Rica. Well, we know it's exaggerating, but he's saying they're, they're seasoned players. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, they're seasoned. But, but you know, that's their game. Their game is about guile. It's, it's about outwitting their opponents, having the opponents work harder than them, and stinging them. That's what Costa Rica always plays. We know this is what Costa Rica plays. So we tried to play the game against them that might give us success. Okay, that, that, that being said, we played three games. We played two completely different, I would call it styles of play, but I, I, don't, I don't do it as style. Um, and we didn't look good. Uh, fundamentally, that's my my concern we still don't look like a team a team is supposed to be better than the sum of its parts we have a lot of good parts at no point have we looked better than the sum of those parts at no point that that game uh, against costa rica in points we looked like we might have a clue but at no point did we look like we were a better unit than the sum of the parts and that's a problem because if we really expect that just by meeting four more times, <clears throat> we're going to become a team, it ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. So we really, we realistically have to look at what is a realistic goal for this World Cup cycle. Like, like um, Cataract. I would love to see us go to the World Cup. I'm dying to see us go to the World Cup before I die again. I, I honestly doubt it's going to be this oh, World yeah. Cup. Res Not Res before you, resurrection before, before you die, die again. Before you die again. Before you die. Listen, man. I died. I died <laughs> when we pick up the 5 nothing from Argentina in 1998. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I died then. All right. No, but the reality is, no, I misspoke. And y'all know I misspoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. Let's, let's a, get a coward, here. A coward huh? dies a thousand deaths. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, no, but the long and short still is I want us to get there. I don't see this squad getting there unless we are prepared to spend some serious money to get people to come with extra time to work or get some find some way to carry the local or North American based component of the squad to England to train together. But they need to work together a lot more than they are now. And I just don't see it happening. And to some extent, I don't really agree with that, Michael. Because... Rome, but they want to come to record it earlier. Yeah, my, I can get that chance. Let me say this real quick. Let me just say something to Michael real quick. Michael, I mean, to some extent, I don't really agree with that. Just because of the fact that Jamaica is not the only country in this situation. Jamaica is not the only country who have players scattered all over the world and they don't play with each other on a regular basis. What I do know for a fact 
is that if we make an attempt, if we make an attempt to blend the talent that we have, we can get these men to come together and play and play in unison. We're talking about professional footballers who know how to play the game. But if you don't put them out on the field with clear and precise and concise instructions on what to do, we're giving them every single, giving them all the resources that they need to do it, then it won't happen, right? We talk about we not having the ball against Panama. They weren't able to do so because at no point were we able to create any sort of triangle in the midfield. Because we have two men at the midfield, we never want to play midfield. You understand? We didn't have anyone giving them support. We weren't able to create any sort of triangle to create two passes. Now, it, now, Panama shows us the importance of Michael Hector. All of the people in my course have Michael Hector from day one. Panama showed the importance of someone sitting in front of the defense and giving them support, making that simple 10-yard pass to the right or 10-yard pass to the left. We never have that. So to some extent, if we are able to blend the team, then we can see some proper football being played. But they don't want to do that. So your question should always go back to what is the coach doing? They don't want to blend the team. We would have seen where the potential that Jamaica has had he decided to blend the team against Panama in Jamaica and they would have seen what the potential we would have. Nobody can tell me say Anthony Grant can play three games in a two weeks. He's been doing it all his life. Uh, I, I don't I don't disagree with, with your sentiment there, Rome, but um my 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 thinking is I'm I'm more of a long term sort of person and I was saying this from before the Gold Cup because I was advocating that we not try to go flat out just to win the Gold Cup, but use the Gold Cup as this training, you know, this this um sort sort of breaking in process for these um, UK-based players so as to get them involved in the squad and get them acclimatized. Because going into the World Cup cycle to go and start it, I believe, was foolish. It was foolhardy. And so we basically give up three games in a hope to start them and have achieved nothing. We've achieved no form of cohesion in these three games. Well, I don't know. Let me let me let me step up. We've not achieved none because I think getting Anthony Grant in and starting to see his importance in, you know, the setup is is a positive. But by the same token, we also haven't identified a uh, um a backup person or another person in that role and it's it's pretty obvious to all of us that it is needed. So, yes, we've patched something but we haven't solved the problem. Because I want to respond to um, oh. Rome, but I forget half of what I'm saying. Except to point out that when we, we have to be careful about the rhetoric, because we live on a program I want to be credible. The average age of the Costa Rican team is 28 years old. The average age of the Mexican team we faced is 28 years old. And the average age of the Panamanian team was 26 and a half years old. So it is a fallacy to say that the Costa Rican team is aging and old. There's one man in there, thir uh, Brian Ruiz is 36, the attacking midfielder, and Kayla Navas is 34. So we can't, when, when we say those things, we give, we, give, we give legs to some things and some argument. The Mexican team and the Costa Rican team have the exact same average age. Go up on transfer market and look it up and see. Funnily enough, the Costa Rican team had a 17-year-old and a 19-year-old in their 23-man squad. So they were not afraid to mix youth, even though they might not have come on and not sure, but they were not afraid to mix youth. So it's not correct that it's a Katara, Katara, Katara. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold Because no, you feel like you do something this a while ago, but no, you don't really achieve nothing. You know why? Because I was not right, speaking right, facts. Right. Like, figure speech don't really work with you and English to speak. Figure speech don't no, 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 you. If, you, if you say to people that the average age of the Costa Rican team is 40, even if it was 35 when you try, you know, a hyperbole. Cataract. Oh, Cataract. I right. said, we played when against when you attack, average lock off my mic. You know. we, played, we said, I said I played against average age of 40. That's what I said. Figure speech now have nothing to do, no, 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 make, no, make no, no sense to you. It don't make no sense to you. And I'm saying, if you say that, 
you are incorrect because it is far off. And as a matter of fact, it skewed the reasoning because the, the, the sentiment was that we were able to eke out a result against an old aging team. And you are not the only person I hear saying it. You are not the only person I hear saying it. The Mexican team and the Costa Rican team that took the field both had the same average age. The Panamanian team was younger, 26 and a half, right? So that, that could speak to some of the hard running, etc. But we can't give falsehood. A straight, we played better. We played, there was a, there was more understanding between Anthony Grant and Speedy. They've obviously gotten some time, 90, 80 something minutes together and them learning each other and them are reason with each other and them link and them something. And as we go on, I think that defensive midfield, center midfield partnership will get stronger. Um, yes, I agree with you that Anthony Grant could have played three games. No doubt, because he's going to have to rest for 10 days before going to play for Swindon, right? So I think he could have been um, utilized in, 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 in the Panamanian game more than Speedy because Speedy, I forgot, right back in club, go play. Um, somebody's typing, I think it's stand um has to go right back to his club and play so i don't understand why he would bring on speedy who would have to go back and i think this weekend is mls or uh, usl again and grant has 10 days because you know he has to quarantine so i i, I thought that was a bonehead move let me just be playing that straight i don't Peter, think before happens. you go further what was speedy's stats in that game Ketara? speedy stats in which game the panama game costa rica game he didn't play against Panama. At least came on late, I think. What was his stats? Was his stats against Costa Rica? Uh, may I interrupt my body now? I, I don't know. Google it. No, no, no. I don't have to Google it. You know what it is. Against Speedy. Costa Rica? Yeah, but hold on. May I, may I, may I, hold on. May I make a point? Let me, no, let me finish. Right. May I finish what I'm saying? I want to respond to Port Official. Can, can I step in? Can I step in? Is it true that the average age of the persons who start is different from the average age of the team? It could be. So, but it all, could hold, be on, hold 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 on, coach. The team that mm -hmm. starts is not the team that plays the whole 90. And somebody can go and add it up. I just go in with the facts. The 23 man, the 23 man squad average age is 28. We never played against 23, man. And I said we played against the average average age of party. So if you're going to bring facts, bring the facts. We if played, you're against, say we played facts, against 18. What was the average age of the team we played against? Go calculate it. We played against 18 men, coach, because they made they brought on five substitutes. And that leaves two goalkeepers sitting, right, out of the 23-man squad. So only three players did not play. Out of the 23-man squad. Two goalkeepers sitting on the bench. Don't let's get cute. Uh, 18 players played on the field for Costa Rica. And 18 players played for Jamaica. Including a 37-year-old beer belly man. With command for five minutes and had two touches. And lose possession one time. Out of the two. Commit a foul and get a yellow card. I mean, so let us, let us be, let us be frank. Uh, eight. Oh, God. Can we mute our mics, please? Oh, okay. that's, that's, crunk. that's crunky with the jump and stuff. Right here, jump and stuff. You're not crunky, man. Um, that's sir, sir Crunk, you might, you might not mute. But I just want to get to to, 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 to fourth official, right? Because he got a long run. I want to. Costa Rica make two substitutions in the 98 minute, two in the 88 second minute, and one in the 75th minute. Since right. that about substitution. So we played against an average age of what? Since you want to get, get technical. You, all right, when we finish, we're going to calculate it. I'm sure you are getting. But for now, I'm just telling you that your overall assertion that the 23 man Costa Rican side are the, the, the team. That That's was my team. overall assertion. That was my overall assertion. Gentlemen, assertion. gentlemen, gentlemen seriously, so, so, is this what you're arguing about? No, no because every, I can't Since get to see. What did I say, Cataract? So every minute. Roma interrupt me. I mean, I interrupt your brother. But we'll finish and address the thing that you put on the table. Do, you, you, are missing, you are missing the clear point, right? Which is that the biggest mistake that was made was made by the Jamaica Football Federation. 
the, the British players all in landed on Thursday, right? Mikhail Antonio. So the errors began by not having Mikhail Antonio on that flight on the Monday to come in and Ruth and Daniel Johnson. And there's been no explanation as to why those players were not on the flight on the Monday. Having missed the flight on the Monday, they failed to secure flights on the Tuesday. Now, there's no direct flight to Jamaica, but they could have fly the man them through Miami or Orlando, which go like, wow. So they failed to do that, right? When the eight players came here, and this now I put on the coach, It should have been patently obvious that no one from the Mexico game could have recovered in time to sufficiently impact. And therefore, he should have had a goalkeeper. Well, he had to have three on the bench, right? But he should have had a goalkeeper, a left back, and a CDM left in Jamaica. Part of the 35-man squad, got 35 player in him, left in Jamaica to make up an 11 that the people could have a proper training session. Right? Oh. Additionally, they could have brought a all-star, a, a, a best of the all-star of the Jamaica Premier League, to play against the man them in training so that they could have got a proper acclimatization and proper real match 11 v 11 and there is no excuse those players would have tested covid negative because you have to test for each round of the jpl right and we were still playing jpl on the friday and saturday when we had a match on the sunday so they could have brought 11 COVID-free players with their negative tests to come and train against the 11 man. And the players would have been more match fit. So that no, I'm not to do with Tapa. That have to do with that, that some of that have to do with the technical committee, right? And the Jamaica Football Federation itself and what it sets up to give the coach to you. Anybody who put eight man to train, I agree with Rome, a madman, because eight man running up and down taking some free kick and taking some penalties is not training. The Panama game, my friend, I don't see how, unless he would have inserted some players, and here's where I go, I don't understand the Corey Burke starting after a grueling match. When you had um, Blair, you had Blair Turgot, you had Junior Flemings, both who played, one played none and one played a little bit of the Mexico game. So, in my opinion, Blair Tur the two wingers should have been Blair Turgot and Junior Fleming. No argument in that because they're not playing no minutes. You take a man who, yes, him run down the place, but you can see, say, I just, I just, I just fume score a run for them. I don't think they disagree. And at least you could be supposedly providing crosses for Mikel Antonio which is what he feeds off in the English Premier League. And Blair Turgot is supposed to be a true winger. So but, that's how the team break down. But, 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 but again, I would say this. We have been having issues where possession is concerned and intent from our players. So when Katarak is saying that... Um, um we should be getting players down the flank and, and and whipping in balls for Mikhail. Would that formation that we use allow but, that to happen? But we must all agree that that formation was not workable. We had Kemar Roof played attacking midfield, a six foot how much center forward played attacking midfield, and when the stats Man itself out. Go and look on sofa score. He ended up being lined up as the left-sided midfielder. Point of order. Okay. Is, is, 
Is Tapa, I mean, sorry, is Katarak saying that, as Fort Official said, that that maybe Tapa is out of his depth and 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 he just almost sabotaged the, the, the whole three games? I am saying that the, the, the media, instead of cloning, needs to, the the JFF to sit down and have a press conference, a post three game press conference, not a man walking at the airport and a man asking two little questions on a mic. That is not how it real football journalism works. But them now gonna do that. But, but, they, but that is a coach is the unprofessionalism because a coach in look here, Garrett Southgate did not use a single substitute against Poland. Poland. Wanting them to be professional is like wanting a thing more to go and sprint against Elaine Thompson and Sherry and and Sherry can Shelly. Coach. So if we are going to be professional and over the years we have seen it, they're not going to do a press conference. Coach. Garrett Southgate. Do they care about us? They had to they had to sit in front of the English media, which is print, radio, and television, and answer repeated questions about why he did not make one single substitution. And he had to answer them. And when he gave a little fluff answer, the pressure came on by more real journalists. Hey, he the the court, the court, the court. Garrett so good is a coach of England. England care about their football. They're talking about Jamaica. They, 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 have, they, have, they have it before and they have it after. And I'm talking about the after press conference that they had. Right? They have certain protocols. This is we only know in a COVID, you know. We only know in a COVID. J- Jamaica have four journalists. C- Glena, Observer, CVM, and TVJ. It, it, they, they, they can sit inside the whole arm. Um, AC Marriott conference room where they have um, um, more than social distance. So that is not an excuse. The, it is a matter of principle and respect for the fans and the general public. They do not believe that we should ask these things and know these things. Somebody should ask the coach about the selection of the eight England players. Coach, and you know, coach, it, it is the coach. The coach and the president should be sitting in the same room. That one man saying, go ask the next man and the next man to answer you. The two of them sitting there. Say, so, uh, which one are you tell the coach? Say, well, let, let, me ask, let, let me ask a magical question to everybody on the panel. Were, when the 11 dropped, did we have any issue with it? Start with right. um, Cranky. Yeah, look, I think it was very obvious that the middle of the park was volume you can't hear me go on coach there's somebody else coach michael i had tremendous problems i saw a team that had no balance to it whatsoever Mm -hmm. you know i saw no midfield um Mm -hmm. and quite frankly i was wondering what was the strategy here because while we we've grown up knowing long ball football to be English football, guess what? They don't play it in England anymore. So I was wondering, what, what was the strategy here? You, you, you brought on all these talented players with nobody to give them the ball. So I, I had a very big problem with it. But guess what? I'm only a fan sitting down here. Nobody's listening to what I think. All right, room. When I saw the team... I tweeted and said, yo, this team has potential, but which one of these guys are going to be sitting back? That's exactly what I said uh, I said on my tweet. Because we needed a defensive midfielder. Mm-hmm. Clearly, I, I'm not going to say neither Daniel Johnson or, or, um, or Morrison have the ability to play defensive midfield. I'm not going to say they don't. I'm just saying they don't have the discipline to do so. Because these men... Mm-hmm. These men are going to go forward as it's in their nature. That's where they want to play. They're pushing forward as, as an eater, as a number 10. Right? So I had, I definitely had issues with the team. West Harding, wait, what, what was his position? Is he a right back? Not in my eyes. That just shows me that the, the, the idea from the get-go was to just get them and put them on the field. 
for you to play Kemar Roof and Anthony and Antonio together shows me you just want to get them and put them on the field. This wasn't a case of, all right, I'm going to sit down and really think about how I want my team to play. This was literally of, all right, these guys have been here training with Paul Hall. I'm going to just put them on the field. Some of them the first game at the National Stadium and then come out after the game and say they never played the way I want them to play. You haven't trained them one bit, so hold them to play the way you want them to play. That's all I have to say about that. Um, Neil? Coach, you know, that weekend, I was kind of preoccupied, right? Oh, 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 oh yes. But no, hold on. But I did see the team, and even before the team was named, right, I kept on asking the question, who is going to play CDM? And I pointed out that I don't know if Speedy would be available, right? Um, but I don't know who's going to play a CDM, even before them named the squad. Once I saw the squad, I thought to myself, this is this is, it really reminds me of a game of FIFA. Because oftentimes I, when I play FIFA, I want all of the star forwards on my team. I want all of the best mid, um, attacking midfielders on my team. And when I play FIFA, the computer kicked my, um, beat me. <laughs> Sorry. The computer beat me. And I said to myself, how is the computer beating me? And I have the best attacking midfielders and I have the best forwards, right? And the reason is because the team don't have no defense, no foundation, and even PS4 can tell me that this don't make any sense. Furthermore, where, where on God's earth? I, I mean, I am just so appalled and outraged. How can you have the best chance to earn, is what, three, four points? How can you have the best chance to earn four points on your home ground and spit on it and squander it like that? I mean, you know, listen, I am not, I'm not really one for conspiracy theories, right? But what was done on that game on Sunday should go down in, in, in the history books of infamy. It just makes no sense. And, you know, I mean, I don't know. It is, it's a complete betrayal of all, it's, it's a complete betrayal of what we have all been doing uh, when we appear on these shows. We've been advocating for quality players. We've been asking the GFF to get these guys to come, right? And what was done, them send them on them out there naked, parade them on the field, and then them have comedian appear on Jamaican TV. I criticize man will win the play of the mountain at the EPL. Coach, it is, it is, it looked bad. It was unprofessional. It was suicidal if we want to make the World Cup. I'm just outraged. Um, Richard. Thank you, Coach Minzy. I've listened to everybody and uh, we're getting to the meat of the matter. And I still have a heavy heart, but I also have a keen, sharp and open, neutral mind when it comes to this particular situation. Rome has flagged up this situation. Neo has clearly flagged up and said much of what I was thinking. I'd be fascinated to hear what Kronk has to say and your good self, Coach Minzy, and, and of course, Cataract. When I saw that team lined up against Panama, I was keen to find out, one, are they confident that all eight UK-based Jamaican players are ready, able, and willing to go? When I saw the footage of Paul Hall training, when we saw the footage of the gentleman training pre the match. And then we had the announcement of which three or four players would be added to the squad. I was wondering aloud, where is the central midfielder? Gravel Morrison is not going to be a holding defensive midfielder. From the footage, highlight footage I've seen of DJ, he's not quintessentially a holding midfielder. He's going to be going forward. I was looking quite frankly, for Mr. Anthony Judge Grant to step up. Well, when I say step up, once he was willing to play 
and had passed any fitness protocols having come from the Azteca, he would have been absolutely up for the game. But I thought when he wasn't chosen, okay, strategy is being played here. He's going to be saved for the third game and they don't want to run his legs off. And this was key in my thinking. When I heard and saw that Anthony Grant, who played that defensive role so competently and admirably in the Azteca, was not chosen, I thought, right, now we're going to see. You remember the footage when we saw uh, Mikel Antonio and, and, and DJ getting onto the bus? Do you remember what Antonio said? Don't worry, guys. We'll get the job done. We'll get the three points. But DJ said something, and the way he said something caught my attention. He was asked a question alluding to <clears throat> the Jamaican team, and he said he's not the person that can answer this question. But I'm putting it to you guys. Can we answer this question? Is this, as Neo suggested, possibly in some way, shape or form, some sort of conspiracy is the best interests of Jamaica's footballing team. Is their quest to qualify for the World Cup with arguably the best, finest crop of talent they've ever had to date going to be jeopardized? And is it being jeopardized deliberately? The poem that I read made me think about this salient and square on point. When we, or when you guys, Cataract, you've done some sterling, fantastic work, Devon Porter, sterling, fantastic work in tapping up, sorry, sorry not tapping up, contacting, getting in contact and, and identifying, identifying brilliant, top-class talent, Jamaican origin talent. The question is absolutely square on and facing us. Aura Tracy was waving a white flag. I must say he had two scar he had two um, handkerchiefs and he was calling out truth. Rome, listen to me carefully. He was flagging up. Truce, truce. The UK-based players and Jamaican rock players. The combination, the blending, the balancing is being called together. Now we've had these three games. Going forward, we need to have the blend together. There are allegations facing us and being put to us that there's a deliberate throwing under the bus scenario that has not only taken place in that Panamanian game, but is likely and possible to take place going forward. I was of the opinion leading up to this campaign that this team will only get better. It would only get better with more chemistry, more time together, better relationships, finding out the key components who and who can work best game by game by game. I am hugely concerned. The Jamaican public viewers and subscribers, we should be hugely concerned as to the merits and the welcoming of the Jamaican players, the Jamaican players from Mikel Antonio, from Kimar Rooch, from Damien uh, Johnson, we should be concerned. Are they wanted? Are they wanted? Are they wanted? Kronk, you called and you've consistently and rightfully called for better quality without any disrespect. Quality from anywhere as long as they can represent Jamaica. I am going to listen carefully. My Lord, my Lord. I'm going to listen very carefully and soberly to you informing us, breaking things down, just as the poem say, said, the games that we the people play, it's not fair. The things that we the people say, we will bear. 
I'm sure the UK-based Jamaicans, the, ja the Jamaicans, the Jamaicans that represented and were, according to Rome, deliberately thrown under the proverbial bus, left with plastic forks and spoons to dig a trench in warfare, to be at the home of Jamaican football, at the home of the office. And when I saw in desire. Uh, this, thank you, Neil, this is ominously serious. And I'm going to just keep quiet now, but I'm putting it to every Jack man here and viewers and subscribers. Do we, and when I say we, it's on two fronts. We, as fans and supporters, right here, vloggers, and two, the JFF and TAPA. Do we, are we willing and receptive and genuinely infused and up for taking on this World Cup campaign with Jamaicans good and true? Or is this, to be frank, maybe a case of a visa situation? You know what? You're going to keep on coming up with these names. But and we don't want them names. We don't want name after name after name. Tapper doesn't want name after name after name. He wants players that he can trust, players that can work with him and, 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 and watch the work. Because I'm going to tell you something straight. I believe... Looking in Tapper, I've been watching his eyes. I think he genuinely believes. Get me now, because I could be wrong. Rome, I could be wrong. Kronk, I could be wrong. Cataracts, I could be wrong. I think he believes that given his free reign, he can get this team across the line. He can go and run through the trenches, dodge the bullets and the bombs coming over, proverbially speaking, and get them to the World Cup. The question is, are we willing to allow him and the coaching staff, led somewhat dubiously, some may say, by Paul Hall and the likes? Because I was stunned for Paul Hall to be with this group of players, to have that team sheet named. Tapper said it straight up. He said he gave them instructions. Play in a certain way. When the whistle blew, it wasn't too long before they were playing a different way. So, it's that? about truth and truth and truth. Well, let's lay it on the line and be clear. I'm going to keep quiet and I, I need these points to be addressed. And I think viewers and subscribers and we as passionate footballers, you supporters, you guys are passionate. Rome is passionate. Everyone here, I believe, wants Jamaica to get to the World Cup or give themselves the very best opportunity to genuinely qualify. But if we're going to be calling on Mason Holgate and we're going to be calling on Damari Gray, the list is expanding. And this is why I said we are in tumultuous times. We're in changing times. The landscape is changing. The question is, what do we do and how do we work as gardeners, proverbially speaking, with this landscape? Do we need to get everything and put into the pot? Do we need to get everything from the forest and put into the pot? Or do we just work on certain ingredients? Let's call it as it is. Do we want a few central central defensive midfielders, a left back and a right back going forward? Nothing more. We'll lock the door and work with what we've got. Go ahead, Katarak, and go ahead, um, 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 panelists. Oh. The, the question was... Um, so, Coach, I haven't, I haven't spoken yet. Oh, has had his oh, time. Okay. It's my time. Sure. I've not answered either. He's, he's not, not so, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Then. Go yeah, ahead but, I didn't see you with the headphones. I didn't know if you were ready again. But, I mean, Coach, um, I respect Cronky, so I, I allow him to um, close the thing because of, uh, I'm sure he has some very salient points. So, let me say this. Your question you asked, Coach, which was, how did we feel when we saw the team sheet? As I said, I had to be quiet because I had I, I don't want it to make it seem like me vexed because my cousin are in United. Right? 
I supported the team and I tried, I believed in the team. However, I am going to firstly call out Cronky. I want him to answer when he comes on, if he can make a note. How many times has he spoken about the Saudi Arabia game when DJ and Ravel played in the central midfield? And he, on a number of occasions, highlighted that, along with a number of panelists, right? That Ravel and DJ is the answer for the central midfield. Based on let me cut you, let me cut you. Don't say that. No, no, I'm, I have to stop you there because that's not true with cataract. We can always no, no, I'm stopping you. So the reason I'm stopping you, I want to interrupt you, but don't say something I didn't say. Wow. That's okay. why we have tapes. You can go ahead. Yeah, that's why we have right. tapes. And I'm going to ask folks to draw up the tape if you want to. Um, and notice why I keep my mic muted when everybody speaks. I don't jump it even when I disagree. But panelists are here. When you have spoken for Ravel, you have alluded to and said you saw the eye test in the one game he played, the 90 minutes that he played against Saudi Arabia. That was your mantra. And in that game, himself and Daniel Johnson were playing in the center of midfield. So now, I would hope that this is not some, this is not some miraculous thing to people. This was something that was done already. I would love to hear from you what was the difference between the Saudi Arabia game and this game where the two gentlemen, the two players were playing in pretty much the same position, right? No. Secondly, coach, there must have been a concern about where the steel in the defense was going to come from. And I think we are looking at the symptom and we are not looking at the problem. We're on Manning's man, Richard and myself, and you heard me pose to Mr. Speed the question about us calling players who we know are injured or we know who cannot make the team. Ravel's case with the visa in the Gold Cup, and I pointed out to him calling of Liam Bailey, who was injured, Kevin Stewart, who was just coming back from an injury, right? And Amari Bell, with whom we know the, has major disagreements with the football federation right and i put it on the table now i to pay the money money when pay for his flight brother it not look good and players cannot be playing for their tickets that is that that is worse than a peasant i put i put that in there Having known that the youth is not coming because we're not, we're not sort out the thing with a sort out from two months ago, right? Or having known that the youth put the, what you call it again? The COVID test for everybody, and in care, and now forward back the bread, a peasant something there. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that I don't think you can call commitment into question. Can me personally name cataract? I now pay for no three playing fear for three panelists go a goal, go a no match. I'm not doing that. And that that sort of commitment, I can't question. I can question what I saw on the field. To address um, Sir Richard, you know when it's, you feel that way? So we were short of a left back. So if we had called up Greg Lee, we would have had left back cover for taxi. If we had called up Kev, um, Jordan Cousins, rather than trying to call up an injured Kevin Stewart, we would have had cover at central defensive midfield. I don't know how good he is. I don't. I don't really rate him, but at least he would have been there. And so you could have had a full eleven ready for Panama, and then in the second half, if things are not going well, you inject some players from the Aztec. So the whole thought process was wrong. That's why you had thirty-five players allowed to be named, so that you could you could make these things. And we took no advantage of that. 
So we should have had 11, an 11-man 11 squad, started 11, here, ready, and waiting. Greg Lee had played. And I'm suggesting that you could have had a goalkeeper, if, it occurred, if Amal Knight was fit enough to um, trade with them, he might be fit enough to play. And you need a CDM and a left back. If you decided you're going to take that out of the JPL, the best that we had, take it out of the JPL. If you were not going to use Javain Brown for five minutes, cinco minutos, maybe I'm wrong or maybe it's Diaz Minutos, I don't know how long he played for. In the now famous four right back formation, because Adrian Mariano can play right back, let's not forget. So we, in that famous formation with four right backs on the field, if he only played for Diaz Minutos, why couldn't he start this game? In the Panama game, he had legs. So there was no need to pull it out, although, again, he would be somebody kind of making his debut in the team. So he not going to deal with chemistry. But we know the weakness of Wes Harding. I've told it on this program before and was taken to task when I said Wes Harding is kind of a competent defender but offers nothing once you reach the half line. And again, with Mikel Antonio, your star striker, needing crosses to feed off of, I think it was a no-brainer for Javien Brown to start. But it went awry administratively. I don't know if the, the conspiracy theories are there, correct, but um, I would hope and pray not. The other two quick points I want to make is Hungry Man can't play football, brother. And the nutritionist, and the, 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 the chef that is supposed to be on board, I don't know if he works at KFC, but the car, my car again, KFC, I have to roll out. For a player to play optimally, and I don't know who the best sports means, you're a sportsman. There's a certain amount of calories that you have to have so that you can burn and all them things there and above my pay grade. Right? But the, the situation I put in there were not optimal. And the off the field issues, in my humble belief, Richard, played, weighed on the mind of some of the players on the field. I just want to ask anybody, and, and I know Cranky going to accept this, he travels for his, 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 his business. When somebody does this, three business class tickets, London, and your boss says to you, I didn't know you wanted back the money. I thought you were doing it to show your commitment. What sort of rage would you be in? And, and, and Sas Christ. I would I'd love to hear you on that quad card. I'm sure it has never happened to you, but I just wonder if it happened if it would have happened to you. And I'm going to segue and allow you because I know you had not spoken, so I'll cut and so I just to answer your question quickly, you should never be in a business trip and the company doesn't pay for the ticket. That makes no sense. You shouldn't pay for your own ticket, that makes no sense. No one does that. Um, but I'll just jump to the question of the quota, which around the team. So cataract, I'm gonna take it to task. Oh no, remember this. And those of you in the audience who like to throw a buckle, remember this. When I ask the question, what happens if we lose? Let me repeat that question. What happens if we lose? And a pure buckle is in the comment section. Buckle for kill or me negative or me this. And I was trying to bring some modicum of perspective and the view, which is look, there are two sides to a coin, and the ball is round. So always consider that. And can I tell me I'm going to training and Antonio do? I may say, calm down, guys. You know, calm down. We understand that we have some more quality now, but the ball is still round. And Panama actually came to play. They, 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 they're a football team also. We're not the only footballers. And Catarat bully us, throw him buckle, bully we, run with them. 
drive over with and all the crowd and people like Shatter, they get excited. I shot her, I was a nap me. I mean, notice you know, shot her. I mean, I said, I was a nap me. I was a negative people say. But because I'm a very rational person and like to be maintain my car, I just say, make it go on. See, car, cataract. And cataract, the great thing about all this cataract, you're on tape. <laughs> Let me say this you're on tape. <laughs> now, about Ravel, coach, I'm answering your question, coach. But I have to do it over long with the way like cataract because I regret when I didn't go in front of me because I think I may never get a word in. But anyway, I said Robert Passe Hites is a quality footballer. I have never said anything about DJ. Because I've said at the Conga Cough, I didn't talk about DJ playing in Saudi Arabia. I didn't talk about the team in Saudi Arabia. I talked about Ravel and his capability. And you beat Ravel. And he's not talking about, La, La, you remember what you're saying now? La, Ravel and in church. When, when I called about us losing, you talk about Ravel and in church and Antonio and Harlem do. You forget all this. Don't forget to know your words and my words. Me know all the critical look. Are your words? Ravel and Ravel Church and and all of a sudden you came to Ravel Church. I know you are singing a different song. Why are you coming like a Judas? But anyway, let me say this. <laughs> let me say this. Which is, Coach, when I saw the team, I was concerned. I thought it was a sense of arrogance in picking that team. There was no balance to the team, Coach. Because you have quality players doesn't mean you can just go out and run over people because everybody can't play football nowadays. That's a well-coached team. And your JT, I was talking about Denmark coach. I'm not going to get to the who coach whom. But their team is playing for a while together. They have quality players. I quoted some stats and Keterat beat on my stats. I said we beat them three in 18 times. Never in a World Cup qualifier. I'm going to get destroyed with Keterat and him fans them in the comment section. And my stats meant nothing. Even though he's a stats man and always quote stats, only when it suits him. But I'm because I'm very reasonable. I said, you know what? I even predicted three. One, the man said, one, all for score, man went off. I'm negative because I said he may score. And I'm scoring three. <laughs> I'm sorry. But here's the thing, coach. When you pick a team, it needs to be a balanced team. Even more of an imperative if the team don't really play together. You want to have a balanced team because they don't play together. You can't put six forward on the team field enough. And I told you sometimes, Ramazi, if you like it. Then uh, Antonio, Roof, and people keep talking about Burke and how good Burke is. So I'll ask you this question. He's played three games. What has he really done well in terms of working? Apart from working hard, has he made a really good pass? Has he made a really good square? Has he made a shot and go away almost scored? Has he beaten a man? Because I'm looking at players and assessing players and what they've done, you know. And I start drawing conclusions about players, which is because you played hard, I think JT also said this, doesn't mean you play smart. Because you run hard and you put an effort, doesn't mean you're effective. And being effective is what I focus on. So, coach, no, I wasn't happy. I was happy with the quality that we got that we brought in. But the, the problem with all of this lies at the feet of the JFF. And why is that? Because you can't be in the campaign or just for the campaign and players just getting their papers to play for you. The World Cup was done four years ago or whatever number of years, five years ago, whatever number of years ago was, four years ago, it would be fifth come next World Cup. You should have been doing your marketing, your assessment, your sourcing, your trying to way to get players to come into your program years ago. These are the same players. They were out there. Weren't they out there? Why aren't you getting them into the program two years before the time you may even have a cutoff period, or you may have an open window, but not for everyone. You bring this place together, you start coalescing, you know you have problems with chemistry, you know the problems with the whole foreigners versus locals. You start sending the message, you start manipulating the message to allow people to buy into the whole concept and to buy into what you're trying to get accomplished and to buy into the journey you're going on and to make sure that you achieve your objective on that journey or at the end of the journey. We have none of those planning. We hear about money issues. Even before the U.S. game, which was a plan for the friendlies, the friendlies were a mess. The U.S. game was a mess. The Japan game was a mess. COVID test wrong. People not getting paid. It's total conundrum. It's, a, it's unbelievable. The level of incompetence is the word. Incompetence abound. It's, it's, uh, it's unbelievable that anybody in their right mind could be that incompetent. It's hard to be incompetent that way. <laughs> You have to work at it. Seriously. You can't be that incompetent. You have to work at it. It's a plan to be incompetent because nobody can be that incompetent. Seriously. And that's what has happened to us. So don't blame just the players on the field. 
think about how the structure, you know, Michael talked about this every time we were on the program initially, about mission, about structure, about process, about how you, and and Coach I would say this, if, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's what we are seeing now. It manifests itself on the field because you don't have the administration behind you, very organized, very structured, getting the players together, allow the coach to put the right blend on the field, people in the right positions, understanding who these players are. The outcome is not going to be perfect. Mexico's been doing that even with the pandemic. Panama's been doing that even with the pandemic. We're one of the few teams who haven't done that. These teams are playing the Nation League. They didn't focus on the CONCACAF. They were focused on planning for the World Cup qualifiers. So how are we going to compete with them and cranky. at the right level, even with less talent, when they are prepared, they're well-structured, they're organized? It doesn't make sense. So along with the way of saying, no, coach, the, the three love was surprising because we had two clear-cut chances. The one that Roof took was the same one that what, what, um, Nicholson took against Costa Rica, no composure in the box. And I said that at halftime in the game. And the second one, the header, he should have scored the header. The first one he kicked over the bar, he should have took the ball down and walk it in. The header he got was point blank. You got to put, bury that. Nicholson scored a goal. Was it his shoulder, his hand, his neck? I think his cousin said, I can't remember, on the program today, his arm say it was his neck. But that's also concerning because he missed two clear cut chances and he scored a ball that he missed a clear header, clean header, no one in front of him. That's, in, look, the goal against Mexico was a very, very good goal. Can't knock it. Very good goal one time. The rest of the play hasn't been stellar. So I'll say for us is all those who are getting overly enthused about Costa Rica outcome, yes, we should be happy we got a point. Yes, it's a start. Yes, it gives us some kind of momentum. Yes, we're happy. And the team played better. But I will say this, and Shata say I keep saying the same thing over and over again, like I'm a broken glass. Yes, Shata I am, which is Costa Rica allowed us to play. And when team doesn't allow us to play, as coach has said, not about allow us to play, but we can't keep the ball. And if you can't keep the ball, you can't put your forwards like Antonio and Roof and Nicholson in position to score goals. And that's why we struggle. So there ends my soliloquy. Kronk, I'd like to just quickly find out from you, just to forget some, some that, that key word again, clarity. What part did the UK-based Jamaican players have in this whole equation? Because um, going forward, you said what would happen and have a backup contingency plan if... Jamaica lost. Well, they did lose heavily to Panama, but going forward, what do you see now as the way ahead? Is it a case of ironing out the kinks, looking for the best blend and balance, locking down a set of CDMs, left ring, right wing, the whole team in place, or is there something at play? And if there's any <clears throat> attempt to merge and mix the UK based players, Jamaicans, 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 it will be sabotaged by hook or by crook. What's the way forward now we've had the first set of games? I think the first thing is JFF has to get his act together. If you can't do the job, lead the job and get people who can do the job, they will be the job. Whether it's paying people, get the players happy. They don't feel good about what they're doing. They don't feel good about the country and who they're representing. Don't let them be disenchanted and say, you know what, I'm not coming back because these people are unorganized, unprofessional, and I'm used to being in a professional environment. It doesn't work for me. That's the first thing. Get the order, the structure in place. Get the coach on the same page with everyone else. Another thing is to let the players feel like, you know what, it's not a sense of obligation, but they're playing for a country. They, we should have the same, they should exhibit the same passion that Anthony Grant does, and I give Cataract credit for that. Because Grant has always been a person who wants to play He's got a chance to play. He's demonstrated he can play. That same passion, commitment, you know what? I'm going to die on the sword for you, should be exhibited by all the players. I'm not sure I've seen it for all the, play all the players or English-based players, right? But we can't have this whole – we're in the work of qualifiers. They're playing for Jamaica. Why do we keep having the same – I heard on I heard on TBJ, the ball that guy, I don't know what his name is. Oral Tracy. Who also has Oral, a to Oral Tracy. He was talking about two sides of his mouth. At one end, he was saying, well, we have too much British-based players. Not in, 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 and he was knocking it. And then when the Costa Rica game played, he was talking about, well, you see what I'm talking about? This is where it should be. He was questioning the patriotism. And I heard it from the Abbeview president, whoever the hell he was also. Oh, no. It's very Lance frustrating, which is, which is we're around, well, you should only use Jamaican-based players. We have seen over the years just Jamaican-based players. We don't have enough quality of local enough base players to get to the World Cup. 
we just do not. The players who are English who got their passport are Jamaican citizens, just like I'm a naturalized American, just like a lot of players are naturalized where they are. You don't have rights and obligations which are less than the person who was born in that country if you become citizen of that country. So let's get that off the table, and that's very distressing. It's very disturbing and makes no sense to me. We're if all one team. We operate as one team. We function as one team. Put the structure around the players so they can succeed. And here's a problem. We all can't forget COVID, right? COVID is disruptive. But you see with the English not letting players go to play for their country in red zone, whatever the hell. It, there's a lot of stuff that's happening that you can't control. But control what you can control. And allow, give the players the best chance for success. What we do now is not giving them the best chance for success. This whole notion because we go play in Costa Rica with more local based players. But Marap is not locally based. Now that's Grant. And they gave their heart out in that game. And they tried. I think what we should have is, if you look at the team, maybe it's the six that plays in defensive position plus the keeper. And the three forwards between Roof, Antonio, and whoever else play up front. I don't think Bobby Reed has played well forever. I don't think DJ has played well forever. There's some players who should not be starting. They don't do well, even if they're English-based or not. I'm not advocating just to use English-based players. What I'm advocating is using the best quality, put the best team on. But maybe you have some players with comparability. As Kretek always says, I want to recruit an English-based player if it's significantly better than what I have locally, right? Which makes sense in some respect. And it really doesn't make sense, but that makes some sense. But at the same time, you do have to have a blend of talent. Sometimes it won't be of the best player because you may not fit into the team in the right mix you want to have on the field. But give yourself a chance to win. Don't start at the top in the administration and give yourself a chance to lose. Roman, so what, yeah, what I, we're saying may... in a long-winded way. Oh, I'm oh Michael, go ahead. ahead. Roman, no, Roma, Michael, go ahead. Either one no, of was, um, I'm kind of disturbed and perturbed by what Katarak said earlier. Um, and it kind of brought me back to a to a position where I was earlier, um, even bef- even prior to the World Cup. I think us as a platform, whether it's and coaches, as wherever you are, um, speaking about Jamaica's football, need to take a step back. And instead of uh, you're looking at comments like Damari Gray, um, all of the players who can, who could potentially play for Jamaica and bring some exciting quality to the team, I think we need to take a step back and ask ourselves, is the Jamaica Football Federation ready to bring in these type of players? Now, Cataract just said that you can't have hungry man playing football. And that strikes deep and dear to me because nutrition is everything when it comes to sport. And if the JFF is not doing what they need to do to take care of these players when they're in their position, then they don't deserve these players, fam. You're telling me that as an organization, you can afford to carry a entourage to the Gold Cup. Not players, but an entourage. Not, not counting the players, but an entourage to the Gold Cup. An entourage to Mexico, to, to the Costa Rica. Yet still, you cannot afford to put together traveling plans and pay for players. You have players paying for players. You have, play and, you have players paying for, for, for COVID tests. And yet still, we're going to go out and ask international professional footballers to come and join our, our program. Think about that for a second. You're going to go to Mesa Greenwood, who's having a rough time right now in England, right? Whether his family is pushing him towards Jamaica, we know the possibilities are, we know it's not a high possibility, but hypothetically, you're going to go to Mesa Greenwood, who grew up in a Manchester United Academy, where everything has been given to him. And you're going to come to him and say, hey, make sure your mother can buy one ticket for you from London, if you come play for me <laughs> at Jamaica, and me... me I mean, me, me, me test of if you if you if if you are committed. Me not pay you back. Me just a check to see. And when you ask back for your money, me say me, me I can tell you say we just that was just a test. What kind of slackness is that? Them the kind of thing they are up the man. Fam. Them the time I think they the unacceptable. So we need to push it back a little bit. We need to stop talking about these overseas base players and start put the pressure where the pressure should be, which is the JFF and the mismanagement of this football. That is where the, uh, that is where our focus should be because that is absolutely unacceptable. You have some people who just sit back and look on it and say, "Oh yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that," but that is absolutely unacceptable. It's about time we start talking about what we really need to talk about. These past three games, this past 
international break bring out so many so much things to light right now that we can't just sit back and willingly and say oh yeah the jff if you get them shit together no they need they absolutely need to shape up and go far because we're not gonna go any further if things like this is happening so we're not going to go any further there is no world cup for in our horizon if things like this really happening so rome i want to say something um and Cranky, yes, I did say Jamaica was going to win. I, I had all confidence that Mikhail and Tony would put the ball in the back of the net for us. Um, at the time, I didn't know of all the background um, goings on. It, it's just information just come to you. Um, so, and I wouldn't say if I had known that, I would have still not had the optimism for my side. The at the time when we were calling up a team, and let me tell you with the JFF grossly blundered. So the League One and League Two clubs, although the League Two still has games going on, did not stop players from going to red listed countries. Right? Um we and looking at the, the Costa Rica game, and I'll show you where we had where we had some things. You have Javien Brown, who plays for Colchester. I don't know if anybody remember Javien Brown, an attacking forward, small forward, um, who represented Jamaica at under 17. And it's just been lost. I mean, he's been a professional player in the English league between League One and League Two. Just, just lost. And in a time where those clubs would have let you go to the lower league clubs would have let you travel um, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the countries, I can't see why. But the biggest one, and I kept, I wasn't calling as hard as I was calling for Anthony, but I do want to Jamil Matt, whose strength is finishing. <laughs> right? That's what it says. Would not have been called up from. Um, having scored goals a plenty for Newport and now at Forest Green. Forest Green at the top of the league. Him scoring every goal, every game, him score a goal so far. He's born Jamaican. So he have a Jamaican passport, so no trouble. And we wouldn't have brought him to carry him to Costa Rica so that we could have had an alternative clinical striker because we know what Javon is can and painfully we know what he cannot do and that is hit anything name the target he didn't do it against serbia he didn't do it against japan on the 23 and no he has not done it against costa rica for the time that he came on so i think we shot ourselves in the foot by one not the, the, the 35 that we selected having some lame hearts in a zion where we know could have run and we should have had better backup for those players. Um, I, 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 if you need a CDM, I, I, I mean, what, how does Joey Desert feel? I mean, I've, I've never watched the lad play, but I've heard reports, and there's Anton Walks, um, Jamaican born in, I think, two, two CDMs that play in the MLS. So if we're short of um, a CDM backup for Grant, Haka, I, I, I can't see it. We had two CDMs in the MLS that could fly there because they had US visas. I don't know. But, but, Chatara. Yeah, yeah, fam. If, if the narrative is that, well, Rome, Rome made a, a valid point just now. If the narrative is that things can't, in terms of be, if the JFF can't sort out certain things in terms of playing, playing ticket and edibles and all of these things, how then does it make sense trying to convince other players to come now? Also, does it make sense overall, being that the, the chemistry issue came up in the second game? Does it make sense? To try and lure a player now. Giovanni, 
But but to be good, you see, if this thing continue another time, I'm going to speak on what I know regarding the logistics. I'm holding the fort and saying to the GFF, just do better. Let me tell you something. They had eight players that were not going to come. Eight players from that were left out of the squad, included Grant, um, Peter Lee, Vassal, Tyreek McGee, that were left out of this squad, right? Why did they come back to Jamaica? Why did they take a short flight to Costa Rica and acclimatize in Costa Rica? Why fly to Jamaica to fly back to Costa Rica when they a direct flight from Mexico, from Mexico City to, to um, whatever the capital of Costa Rica? That I don't know right now. Why? Richard, you asked one day, who benefits? These questions might come up, you know, and the answer will come. You can't do nothing in Jamaica and hide it here. Why weren't the players just flew, the eight players flown directly to Costa Rica? Because they never trained with the squad, I don't know, right? Because they weren't in the 23 man. And go down. Since, since we love eight man train, eight man do train in Dora, Dora, Dora Costa Rica with, 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 with maybe uh, Barrett or something like that. Or at least they go and relax there and get acclimatized to Costa Rica and um, be ready for us when the rest of the team join them. Why? That's what. Second coach, the the start raise a point, and I'm going to agree with him. In terms of, it seemed as if it is put all these pieces on the field, and then that's it. The other thing though is that if he didn't put it on the team, lose three nil, a half of the next set of people would have beat him. So I don't, I don't know where he wins, but what was done was just clearly bad. The national pride that you speak about, those things, okay. But I talk certain things because I have a privilege for the near the team certain time, right? The man can't sit down and I watch the movie, dog. Show him on there some 1998 game, dog. Make him on there see where we, where we are come from. They, they know, they, they, do, do they know who Peter Cargill is? Do they know who Shorty Malcolm is? Do they know who Naira knows where he is? And I'm talking about three players, two who gave the ultimate sacrifice of their life. Did Ruth and Mark? Antonio watch the Gold Cup games? I don't know, but I'm saying when they came here, in terms of relaxing, AC has a nice big cinema. You don't need to watch John Wick. We need to watch games while you, you know, while you take care of your jet lag and sit and sit and. But you need to know, you need to know the players you're going to play with. Good so point. again, but, though, um, you know, we, 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 we keep going back to this and going back to it. Um, yes, the JFF is, has not done the best job. But but we are not Unless realistically um, putting forward workable suggestions to them. And when when I say this, I'm I'm not making the statement lightly. We know all of what, or well, I shouldn't even say we know. We have ideas. We have clear ideas of what should be done. But let's focus on the right now. What can be done? And and the, the problem I'm having is. The things that can be done really don't cost that much. They really don't require that much. But what it requires is somebody at a fairly high level in the system stepping back, standing forward and saying, you know what, we screwed up. We weren't the best. Help us. It's because, oh, yes, guess what, oh, Simple, guess simple what, thing. Simple thing. Um, um, communication. Communication is one of the strongest tools they have available to them. And it's the one that they're not using. To, to Cataract's point, how much further would we all be if the JFF would talk? If the JFF would release timely communications? They don't have to be big things, but something as simple as saying, Here's the first three games. Here's our strategy for the first three games. We will select so many players. We're going to play them like this. We'll have them traveling like that. Here is, you know, 
this is what? This is three pages of, of text. You sit down for a couple of hours and put this out. Guess what? Half of these discussions we have, half of the, 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 the hand wringing and the, the angst would be gone because we'd have an idea of what they're doing. It might not even be right, but we'd at least know what they were thinking and why they were thinking it. Michael, you know, Michael, imagine how much further we'd be with just that. That's a simple thing. We have so many other of these little things, but they refuse to reach out for the people who can help them. Because we're all here. We've been here all along. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. Sir, sorry. I, sorry to cut you Mr. Michael, but you said something where um, really perked me ears. A um, couple of things. Number one, it should never be a case where football fans who have the access to a particular platform um, should be giving these man advice on how to run the program. If it gets to that point, they should not be in the program. So they should leave. That's a number one. And number two, and, and this is probably the most salient point, right? If you have a problem, Frankie you know, as a businessman, in my work, in my um, career as, as a program manager, if you have a problem, you cannot fix the problem if you don't accept that there is a problem, right? We, if even if I were to give you the premise, even if I were to um, um, say, all right, I'm going to give you the first point of saying, all right, we can help them fix it. We can't help them fix it if we don't know what's going on. All we're hearing are snippets. The people that know exactly what's going on come on and, and talk, and then really talk through the side of their mouth, right? And, and then the people that really know what's going on not saying anything. The players seem to might have signed a contract that is a, a non-disclosure agreement because they're not saying anything, right? So we don't know exactly what's going on. All we can take do is take snippets and ask questions as to why. Why is Anthony Grant not playing in the second game? Where is Amari Bell? What's going on with this player? What's going on with that player? We don't know. Why wasn't Rob Bell in America? No one explains stuff to the, to the people. You understand? So how we do is sit back and we're left to speculate. So there's no fixing a problem and we don't know what exactly is the problem. What we do know... Well, that's that's specific can... to my point, though. No, you know, but Roma, Roma, Michael, have... Michael, Michael, Roma, Michael, we do know what the problem is. But we... we, we, the, we problem, the problem is... The, no, <laughs> but the problem is that to fix the problem, you have to fire yourself. Yes, resign. Yeah. Can I say it's... something quick? Can I just add two hold. things quickly? It is... It is look... We can always uh, go back and look at what happened and what's wrong. We can always bark at the JFF of what they're supposed to do, right? The JFF is not going to fire themselves. And, you know, to some extent, it is what it is. But let me just make some suggestions, which, you know, um, I don't know. I, you know, the players who are in the UK, there are they're, they're more than eight of them there in the UK. You know, my suggestion is these guys need to be communicating they need to be watching videos of the, the Gold Cup. They need to be watching videos of other games. They need to be communicating with the coach and amongst themselves. You know, if they could meet physically, that would be good. But if they can't meet physically, they can Zoom each other. You know, video and analysis can go a far way. They can look at where the weaknesses of the team, the team is or are. And... You know, the same thing for the players in, you know, over on the other side in, in the United States. I mean, we won't be able to see each other before the other, before the break, right? And if we don't get cousins or Stuart, and if we don't get these players communicating with each other, we're going to go and play the United States. And there is no reason to expect that we're going to get really, I mean, there's not much reason to expect that we're going to get a different result. You understand? Furthermore, we don't know what the whole red listing thing is going to be. I don't know if the JFF is doing anything with respect to sorting that out or if that problem will fix itself because the clubs will be forced to release the players. But the point is, we have to come up with creative solutions for the players to be able to communicate and address some of the problems that are endemic in the team. And we can't really depend on the JFF to do it. Or, or what we can do alternatively is to, and I suggested it in, in the chat, right? Every, all of us who go on the YouTube channels, we should say to, to the JFF that this is, how many, how many days are left until the match? What have you done to improve the situation of the team, to improve the chemistry, to improve the tactics, 
to improve communication between the players. And every time I'm on come on a show, this is one of the main things that we should be looking at and put public pressure on them to do this. Truth is, it might not change anything. But you know what? There was a time when we were on here saying they're not going to get these players and these players have come. So we, you know, all of us who were a part of this project, we did make a difference. So my suggestion is that's what that's what we ought to do. This is what we should be brainstorming. And even people can reach out to the players on Instagram, you know, ourselves. Because the truth of the matter is, if we're looking for the JFF to do it, I mean, they're not going to do it. And as I pointed out again, but, but right? Neil, so Neil, sorry to put mm -hmm. it. Soapbox, I'm sorry. If, if the team, I don't believe the team is going to get an opportunity to work together again. Right. So if the team does not gel, we're going to be losing 3 nils, 4 nils going forward, right? <clears throat> but coach, we, can, where... we can work on that issue, right? We can work on that issue by watching tape, by discussing. You know what? Anthony Grant said that he watched videos. He communicated with the players. He spoke to Speedy. He did all of this work before he even hit the field. The other players can do that too. And it can People. make a difference. But, but is the need, coach is, well, well on the room? Is the coach going to want to pick a team that is not gelling rather than picking a team that has gelled? And if a saloon are on our walk, but you know what well, I find instructive, yeah, coach? Before before the Costa Rica game, the players had a players only meeting. And they spoke amongst themselves about what they were going to do on the field and how much this meant to them. And I, what I'm trying to say is the players, have to, I'm not, the players have to the players have to come together and solve some of these problems in spite of the coach and in spite of the JFF. Team guys, guys, get rid of Tapa. Give it to Paul Al. It's that simple. Give it to Paula for the rest of the city, for the rest of the, the qualifiers, and then figure it out afterwards. Here is what I'm saying. Why is Jamaica the only country worrying about teams gelling? Why are we? You, look what look what happened to Chelsea. U.S. Lamp is worried about it dead. too, actually. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea was dead under under Lampard. Took will come take the same team that was dead and go win the Champions League. We have a problem with coaching in the, with this team. We have a coaching problem with this team. That is where our problem lies. We get rid of Tapa. That's it. We get rid of Tapa. That's it. But here's a problem. Here's a problem. Rome, you can't take the capitalist thing. Theodore Whitmore is earning, as, as, as best as we can approximate, a thousand pounds a week. You are saying that Paul Hall is going to leave permanently his role at Queen's Park Rangers to come and work for a thousand pounds a week. No, he's not. It, and he would not, not get to come on, Katara. No, I'm just saying, hold on. I'm it, just, yeah, I, I, say, I never said on. that, fam. No, but I'm saying to you, you're saying, you're saying give Paul all the team. Give him the team and pay him what? Not he's, on a, he's on a second man, for, for a, 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 a very short period of time. Right, it's a part-time job, Paula. a part-time something, a little thing there, because he still is holding down his major, his his main role. Queen, thank Queens Park Rangers for allowing the, the academy head or whatever he is there. So you can just give him the job. So, 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 so Keta, why are you jumping over the main point? Why the, the main point is because getting so, yeah, get rid of when they get rid of I am I am I'm listening to everybody now because half a team cataract say tapa out. So me, 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 me have my view. May I tell you say if tapa out, who in? That's just the question that has to be asked. And that's what reasonable people do. If you recall, Cranky and myself, we had that thing in a debate, and we would have bomb me when we say, um, I, I'll give certain names. And, and how the JFF should be approaching if we got less than four points. Clearly, the JFF doesn't watch you too, because they would have put some plan B into place. But right now, the plan is that you, you can't afford nobody. And, and the JFF, 
hold on and, and Tapa have engaged in compartmentalization. You understand? And when when you get angry with the JFF, they point the finger to Tapa. Right? When you get angry with Tapa, Tapa pointed to the JFF. The finger to the JFF. They're not okay. going to get rid of each other. Okay. They they are a perfect team. And I think it's more than that. The JFF does not have $14 million to, to, to buy off that contract and pay him out of his contract. So unless there is some major change, Stan has always talked about, he's an accountant, he's looked at the balance sheet, and this is a major change in fortune. In my humble opinion, whether we like it or not, we stuck with this coach till November 2022. Because we just can't afford to buy him out. So it's how best can we deal with it? I saw a man, Kirk Smith, Kirk Steeler, I, I, I try mark me and say, me never think about that before me big player to come to Jamaica. Me never know something I have to pay for them when I take it sometime, brother. You think that's a part of a selling point? Hi, come play for me. Pay your own way. It wasn't. So I we sought players out on the basis that we were going on some professional things, that what the JFF said would go, that players would no longer travel economy, Remember those grand things and everybody would get business class and whatever? It now work out that way. So what does that tell you that? But coach, you said what the Jamaica Football Federation can do. It can select its team. It can set Somebody said there's a better Jamaican coach. Who do we suggest? Oh God. All right. Well, the suggestion is coming, coach. I respect that. Let me put what a thousand pounds a week is in perspective. Curtis Tilt earned more than that. And he's probably the lowest paid player we have. Anthony Grant played in League Two, earned four times, five times that amount. It's like a free minute coach. I do. What we it's pay a coach is what a professional coach, like a, 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 a decently rated coach. Does it have to do with qualification and... and, and, and... No, 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 for the qualification. Does the, coach, does the coach resent the players because they make more money than him? I don't know. And I'm not, I don't even want to mention that because I don't know. What was the coach doing before he got the Jamaica job? Nobody still can that, answer that, I know. That, has, that, that he was coaching St. James High. That was never... <laughs> um, that was never a question. <laughs> at the time at the time we were financially embarrassed we couldn't pay coach Schaefer what we owed him coach Schaefer right off the debt you know i said right, nobody buy me out of my contract just give me my last salary i'm gonna leave there were months when Schaefer wasn't getting any salary oh we had them a deal with they were dealing with Schaefer like oh them deal with cataracts sometime or you know, some dance uh, boy i want to say dance like one too good you know squeeze your thing Coach means he knows this. He's been around the thing like that. I squeezed the man I used to squeeze the, the man, I think it was half a million dollars, whatever. And sometimes man have one hundred thousand or all that, you know. That's not how it runs. So when we say in tapper out, just know the circumstances. Cause it might be tapper out and Jerome wait in. So, so coach, so coach, coach, I do think you can't buy Lamborghini with bicycle money. In fact, you may not even buy enough money to buy the bicycle. I don't understand the logic. I don't understand why people are keep advocating and pushing to go at a coach which is going to cost money when you have no money to spend. Why are we doing this? I keep getting frustrated with that whole concept, which is fire the coach. So who is going to take that job for fifty thousand dollars? Is that before taxes or after taxes? By the way, is that? I'm that's, sorry. That's, that's 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 Thank you. That is assuming. That is assuming that there is. That is assuming that there is in the island of Jamaica there is no better coach than Theodore Whitman. No, but Rome, Rome, Rome. I'm talking about the money. That we, no, Rome, Rome, no, 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 Rome. You have the money to pay top, but you can't pay the same money to another. No, Jamaica but you have to pay coach. top no, a contract off. Oh, you, have you have to, to leave, leave Rome. If you have you somebody to leave. on contract. You have to pay him out. And Rome, yes, it can be negotiated. It can be negotiated, but you still have to buy him out, and then you have to go pay the new guy. So, so when you when you're in a situation where you you're not even realistically have the money to pay the guy you already have. Because that that in, in that is even in question, whether they, they can afford to pay Theo his money regularly. Right? This so is a, a non-profit organization. 
It doesn't matter whether it's non-profit bro, 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 or profit. No, no, no. Me about me said that. Me said this. This is a non-profit organization. Where is the, where is the money coming from? And where is it going? Why haven't we it's, set it's up? It's not a, a non-profit. No, but listen, it's we, not a non-profit organization. It is a non-profit. It is a not-for-profit. JFF is a non-profit. But, 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 but Rome, Rome, Rome Kedra, wait, guys, guys, guys. Let's not go into the legal, the legal aspects of what it is. Oh, All right. Let's just address right. Rome's point, which I is wait, 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 what Rome has said is this: Where's the money coming from, and where's the money going? So your money normally comes from a number of different sources, right? But it's television yeah. revenues, commercial activities, grant receipts, grant. All those things are not coming in your room. What, what source? They, they, they have market their product. Television is not necessarily what it used to be, frankly, in this environment for Jamaica football team. There are no gate receipts. So where are the funding coming from? You ain't got no money. You can't buy anything. I keep People keep... Sponsors. <laughs> they right? get money no. from sponsors. So where do I get so much TV money to them entourage guy competition? And and company. That problem by hiring more police. It's a similar concept. You can't fix your problem by hiring police. The people in charge are not good enough to do the job. And so what they keep on doing is failing. Whether it goes from the coach and or the administration, they're not doing a good enough job. And that's why the program struggles. The program have enough talent out there to coalesce the talent, to allow the talent to flourish. If they have the right structure, the right construct in terms of how they operate, they don't. And what you're going to have is us being here frustrated all the time going forward because we see incompetence as a zenith and we can't do anything about it. All right, all right. Enough. You see, when, 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 when the previous administration was in power, there were some different things that were happening in terms of funds coming in. That source of funds has dried up, right? So there is no longer funds coming in from a particular source. Can you imagine you're working two jobs and one stop? Your funds are going to be depleted. You understand? So the point is that JFF don't have the money right now to hire a new coach. If them hire a coach, it is going to be another local person, probably to give him the same amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. And if them, yeah. and if, if that happens, they will have to um pay off the gentleman based on the contractual agreement. How much? Was, how much was stop us thing? Because oh, they're pay, I they're I don't, pay, to, I don't want to speculate about a man salary, Neil, right? So we're just talking ballpark okay. figures. Let me just say this sketch. One point of order. Never be when on, I on, read, on, when on, I, on, never Bell doesn't want to uh, we, or will not coach the national team, the man then not fly. So you can't have a man to prepare the team and then he never fly with the team. That is absolute madness. So man is a I was just gonna say I was just gonna say, Cataract, that when I read their financials, it said that they paid their employees $98 million in salary. Right? I don't know how many employees they have or how that is distributed, <laughs> but I, I was just going to say that I do remember that line from their financials. Uh, about a hundred million a month the salary. Well, I, I don't know how they I don't know how they add that up with what I'm saying. Let us put it in where, perspective. Where it comes from? Hold on, let it coach. I want to put it in coach, perspective. Put up Christmas, Most put up Christmas. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to put this in perspective. Because they already asked me about not per month, you know. Not per coach. month. Hold on, coach. Mm -hmm. I want us to look at things in perspective, right? And what it is in terms of the real world of football. I do not know if the JFF meets its obligation to its head coach every month. So don't think that maybe that is a thing that man owe oh, man money and those things and tapa is a, a, a gentleman kind of person don't come and cause any such i don't know that the jfs fulfills its full obligation to him every month so just keep that in mind when you know about tapa out and a new local coach coming because at that point it might be more than 14 years but let me tell you where it is like bob marley they might tired this is top of face so let me tell you what the thing is you see between now and the end of the world cup qualifiers the coach will earn approximately $14 million. You see, next week, Mikel Antonio is going to earn $13 million Jamaican dollars. Realistic matter. $70,000. So we can beg Antonio week. a favor if you buy out anything then. Well, Andre Gray will earn $14 million Jamaican next week. The man have them business to take care of too. 
No, no, just, no man, I'm going to beg, I'm talk about beg money and use it. No, we're just not No, of course, come on, but we don't understand why Rome, you can't bring, Rome, you have, you have yeah. big money and soldiers. I don't want to bring them deep into the argument, I am pointing out to you a magnitude of, a magnitude of things, right? That in one week, Anto, uh, Antonio and Gray, who are on this pretty much the same level of, of, of salary, weekly salary, earn what the coach earned for the entire year so when we're going to look for a competent coach just know what the man never got asked for right just said don't tell me what me can compare generous i'm i am i am telling you straight what the situation is and this okay uh, if if you have a ceo stand and your salary stand can pay the CEO's whole salary for a year for a week. Is something wrong in that balance? I think. But but but, but Chatterak, um, in reality though, what what is the point being made really salary comparison? Because right. what's the what's if, the point? Yeah, I'm saying because I know the salary making coach uh, is he withholding his coaching ability because no, of the salary. No, <laughs> I'm saying that you have gotten a coach for pittance, mm -hmm. and that you will not be able to get a coach anywhere. At this salary, mm -hmm. remember what Sa remember what Tapa was asking for before, and it was just a little bit more. You get less than what you pay for. And what that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We, if we are paying Tapa this amount, someone else in a Jamaica better than Tapa can definitely take this amount. I'm right, moving forward, and I understand. Tapa was not going to take this amount. Tapa was not going to take this amount. Do you do you remember the the, 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 the back and forth with the JFF? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapa was asking for one point five million dollars a month. You see, some of the people them are called for these these coaches would have proven themselves at under seventeen or under nineteen level. Mark you, some coaches can only get success at that level. I mean, uh, not anybody, but just take that into consideration also. Because a man can coach a very good Dafasta Cup team, a very good um Manning Cup team, but the transition to deal with professional yeah. players. Yeah, but but coach. And coach's but argument coach. is all academic. Because we yeah. can't do nothing for change that. So exactly. when we sit down and we are talk all of this stuff, what we need to do is focus on the things that we can probably have an impact on. And the things that we can impact, really, is to try and encourage Tapa and the GFF and the players. Remember, in the 98 campaign, the team was struggling. And it was really the industry of um uh the players that came, Paul Hall, Deanne Burton, and a few of them. A few of them turned yes, out. Yeah. Yes, the the yeah, they they pay their own fear and they came in, right? And Simons was a good coach. I'm not taking it from him. What I'm saying is, as the fans. We have to call on these players who we know are more, I, I'm sorry to say, it, they're being paid more than the coach. They play in a professional league. And I'm not just talking about the guys in England. I'm also talking about the guys in the United States. The players, the hope that I see, the last best hope we have are the players themselves coming together and talking and saying, look, the JFF have issues Tapa have issues, but guys, we have a chance to go to the World Cup and make a name for ourselves. And so we are going to do the things that we can do in order to achieve that. And there, there are things that can be done. Hey, you ever say some some people have built them us, um, gentlemen, and them now have the money for buy the cement and the, the thing to get the mixer truck or whatever. So you hear them do and put on a big pot. Out a door, get somebody <laughs> to come cook some food, some ladies to come cook some food, and share some food, and get some bridging and bridging. We can throw up some bucket. You understand? And mix some matter. And mix some matter. <laughs> no, I'm lightening this analogy as the Neo said. We in our spot about that. The coach said, "We don't have to panic." But can he can he get some of his friends and his close associates who are uh, football gurus to just come in and you know if it is if it is even not on site but 
on a Zoom call and on a stream yard, just to link up and 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 just ensure say everybody I give them feedback and and some constructive constructive criticism. Quote: oh, This is not what you want. You 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 you're not doing. Can you try this? You know, man, I make them suggestion. I'm not going to go bully because I remember a friend I come in to help mix some matter and throw up some bucket. No, Coach Minzi, Coach Minzi and panelists. Do you feel what we're saying is that it's a case of a plethora of players being foisted upon Tapa and the JFF when they may know full well, for example, the JFF, that they won't be able to handle the resultant situation? Do you feel it's a case that this has seen us foisting or seeing people foisting name upon name into the ring when we know the JFF, as you have clearly identified, them not ready to deal with it. And they may not have been willing to play ball, but they've played ball, proverbially speaking, because it's been put out there. Secondly, isn't it interesting that Tapa was very vocal on the touchline against Costa Rica with the players. Again, I put it to you, Tapa, I feel, knows the situation, knows his salary, knows the relative salaries of the players that have been flown in, knows the dynamics therein. But I feel, look here, a man business, we are talk. Look, do you feel that Tapa... Is, is is feeling inside himself warming. You feel same feel disrespected or feel say he's not a, a man or he's not a real coach because everybody have an answer except him and these are big players so if for just set, settle back and, and back off and, and, and drop back. He was talking with those Costa Rican he was talking with the Jamaican players in that Costa Rican game. Jevon East had a guilt edge a guilt edge opportunity to score. Show um, um Boza had a chance to score. There were three points there for the begging, for the taking. I have a feeling that right now, here and now, for this campaign, Tapper believes he can forgive the pun, tap into the resources that he can have at his disposal. And if left, I'm putting it out there to you, if left to his devices. He can do his level best to find a way to get the team into the World Cup finals. And if he doesn't, he can damn well have as good an attempt as he possibly can come hello high water. When I first joined you, got your good selves, I was shocked at the level of ridicule and humiliation and degradation and all kinds of rocks and mortar and buckles being thrown at Tapper. But check it. We've almost come full circle. I've had a, uh, I've come to terms with the lay of the land a little bit more, and it comes to my attention, and I feel that Tapper, with the limited media exposure he's been subjected to, he believes that leave me to my devices, and we can do a thing. What's going to happen otherwise? is that we're going to have all this going around, going around, going around, calling people on board, calling for Mason, calling for this, calling for that. And he may pull something akin, and is this what we want, to that Panamanian home game at the office? No fans there, and him standing on the touchline or sitting in a dugout quietly as things go up in smoke? Richard, I I, I, I do I, think if Tapa listened to Rome, he'd quit a long time ago. I mean, I'm Richard, just, Richard, let's, check let's, this out. Let's, now let's say this right now. I said to everybody, honestly, I do think that when Tapa looked on the field and see Mikel Antonio, which is bombing up the Premier League, being West Ham's leading goal scorer, you see a man who just win the Scottish Premier League, you see a, a, a quality set of footballers, and him looking at the mirror and he realized, shit, me just coach St. James, or oh, me go coach them, man. He, he, honestly, if you're honest with yourself, realize that he's not at the quality to coach these players. And which is Robin. why he won him in the team. 
That's what I'm saying. Can I say something? Which I'm gonna say something. I don't. Say something, which is this. I don't. I don't. I don't say agree with Rome. I think what happens is, Tapas have a core group of players. So you see him bringing East and bringing Watson, who he's very comfortable with, right? And some coaches are like that, right? See, coaches bring some players like Wisey on his team. He's comfortable with the group he's used to. He's comfortable in his own environment. Tapas is not an extrovert. Right, and if, if if you're not an extrovert, you're more of an introvert. It's hard for you to go out and make yourself even vulnerable to the people around you, inclusive of those players who may seem to have more resources in certain organizations. It makes it challenging. So I can understand him feeling like you know what? Now that he, you see, he talk to McGee. He doesn't talk to most of the players like that. You know, he treats McGee as like his son. He lectures him, and McGee will say yes, sir, and he go out and execute. That'd be hard to do with an Antonio, for example, or Ruth. And that's a little bit challenging for him. So I understand some of his dilemma. And frankly, as you've said, since you came on the program, he has been disrespected quite a bit by the Jamaican populace. Not only Jamaican populace, but the Jamaicans in general about his capability, even about his intellect, for Christ's sake, or they equate intellect with coaching ability. But I'm not sure the two are one of the same. So if you were him, wouldn't you have that sense of, Lack of loyalty since he actually made the Gold Cup final at um, one point, the, the final, right? When you have that sense of, you know what, I, no matter what I do, it'll not be enough. And I get exacerbated by him just having one point from the first three games when the prediction was with all these players coming in, he'd have at least seven points. And lastly, I'll say this, which is, it's, even though I support quality, it's very disruptive to have players coming in and in and out and in, it's very disruptive, right? Saltgate probably has 35 players he leverages, and he's not changing that number for credit. He doesn't change that number most times. They'll go in and out, but he's not changing that number. Great. We are up to 70, as Mr. Speed said, and it probably keeps increasing if more players come to join. And I blame the JFF because if they had done their homework earlier, we'd have a much more settled squad with one or two additions versus what we have today with this mess totally. all right someone earlier asked for a solution so i'm going to give you one Sorry. and before i get to leave um so here's what i've been saying for the past two months and this is not it hasn't been kicked off here but i've been speaking to a few people um about this we have to force resignations out of the jff that's the only way we can get it better we have to force resignations and i can't and the only way i can see us forcing resignations out of the jff is if we won, write a letter to FIFA requesting an investigation into the JFF and the management of the Jamaica Football Federation. And that letter must be accompanied with a petition signed by thousands of people indicating that they have zero faith in the way the, 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 federal, the Federation is being managed. And we need them to look into how the Federation is being managed. That to me is the only way we can get these men out because when you once power corrupt and these men have power and they're not going to let it go. So we can sit here and talk about how they've been competent from day one. It's not going to happen, It's not going to happen. Go up the shot. Go up the shot. I'm sorry. Give me a second. I would love to be as negative. Based on the fact that um, it, it would have to be some sort of, what do you call it now? Um, there's an electoral process, right? There's an electoral process, right? They have an electoral process. Yeah, plus, plus if, if, if I think that the, the best is, is, is to do what you call a, a um, no, no confidence. No confidence. No confidence. No confidence vote. And that, that, was, that was something that was spoken about by, I, I believe, Kasafa. And they withdrew that aspect of the no confidence vote. So at this juncture, Getting FIFA involved, I think it, it is it is not a, 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 a wise thing to say. Coach, FIFA coach. Deal with the money part, right? Coach. It's the financial aspect. Could I have a word? Hey, coach. Yes. I would love to be Hello. as negative as uh, Jerome, the port official, is. Because honestly, on his on his um, previous streams, I would have commented that Tapa out. But I've spent some time and look at them. I realize that re review the games. When you look at the games, it's not about Tapa. It's about the players. Because, for example, our last game against Costa Rica, Nick Carson had the ball at his foot and it seemed as if he was playing on ice. 
I mean, the ball was there at his foot, and for some reason, the, the young man could not have controlled the ball in a way that allowed him to turn around and score the goal as strikers are supposed to. Tapa cannot tell you to do that. He, he cannot allow you to do those things. It was clear that he, I mean, I, I, I respect um, Nicholson, but it was clear that Nicholson is not the man for the job. I, I tell you, is a man that I have respect for. But when I look at the ball coming to Nicholson's foot, and there was about three instances during the game against Costa Rica when he got the ball at his foot and he could not turn, control the ball and make a score. I make an attempt at goal at least. And I'm not sure if I was the only one who, see, who saw that, but I tell you, it was sad to see how he plays. The, the, the game against um, Panama and Jamaica, to say that Tapa and his arrangement was the reason for that, I would put it down to the midfield. The fact that he didn't have a defensive midfield was an issue. But well, it's, not that he didn't have it. it's not that he didn't have it. In the, the no, there wasn't there was a the defensive midfield still. Well, the first was the, the entire, the, 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 no man, the entire the entire from the midfield on, onwards, they were mostly um forward approaching players. There weren't many persons who played defense. And as a result, we lost the ball. As soon as we got the ball, we lost the ball. And then the keeper just keep on kicking the ball out forward, which is I mean, Blake, as much as we respect Blake. In that game, we kind of lost the whole concept of how anyways, we could have... Anyways, Gennaro, prison grill boss, if people them are true shot at you, know, because yes, them say you sound like you are blame the players, them. Yeah, but the players, just want to say this. Fourth fourth if fourth 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 official, fourth official, if they, if you, if there's an investigation of the JFF, FIFA will probably disqualify the reggae boys from going to the World Cup. Thank you. That's what I'm going to say to you. If they, they, if they commence well, well, an investigation, FIFA will disqualify the team from going to the World Cup. Well, well, and they've done it before. They would they would um well, on a general, they, would, they, would they would just suspend the, 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 um, the federation, federation. And, and therefore Jamaica they would, would not, not be eligible to come go to the World Cup, World Cup or compete yeah. in anything. So, I don't know where you are that, Mr. Bob. But Jonathan, I want to say this. I want to ask you a Ketara. We have three minutes to go, you know. Mikel Anthony, a boss. Did you see Mikel Anthony just walking on the field? It was clear that the man was disinterested in the game from about 10 minutes in the game because there was no forward play from the midfield. It was so, clear. So, so who select the well, team? You, you, who select the you team? Said it was the players. You said it was the players. So who, who select, select the team? team? Who select the four no, team? No, no, no. Like no, no, no. So the gentlemen, players, gentlemen, who select the team? The, the, the players are on the field. Who select have, the team? They, each player, each player has have a responsibility. Could Tapa have made Even changes? Though, I'm sorry. Could he have made changes. Could he could, could the coach have, have made, made changes. changes to the team? He, he could have made changes. It's unfortunate the changes came late in the second half. But the fact is, and in, in the well, beginning, in the first the half, there was never a game being played. Did, did um, the coach let the team without a CD? Michael Antonio to become disinterested in the game. You saw Michael Antonio, a man who fights for his game, saw that this, I'm like, why am, why am I here? I, I feel like we gave, we said to Michael Antonio, why did I choose Jamaica? This doesn't if make we, any sense. If me so are playing with again, one again, one again one. though, you're, you're playing speaking as if the players are playing without a without a coach there. If you listen, a good coach. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Last word. Hold on, hold on. If I am up, if I'm, I'm sorry, playing, I'm sorry. Hold on, sorry, on, sorry, on, sorry, on, on the man, you can't go and take over the thing now. Relax, the man. If I am playing football, see? If I am playing football, and I am playing forward. Whether me a play scrimmage in my community or whatever, and me a play football, and me up front and now get no ball. Oh, me a go feel for it. Me a go start work. Cause <clears throat> if me a, if, me, me, me a forward, me a play no. So if you go in and out, in and out, in and out, and na, and when me go out, me now get no ball. No, so me a go start work. Not finding any excuse to play. No. Coach, can I say something? Coach, can I say something? Let me make this. Let me make this point to coach. Coach, 
you're right, but that can't be the approach. No, I'm not. Andre not, Gray. I'm not hold on, hold on, coach. Andre Gray played in the Gold Cup and ran and ran and ran and kept mm -hmm. making runs and the ball would not reach him. Go ahead. So he can have a different attitude to it. Go ahead. Players have to take some the responsibility because when a coach puts you on the Listen, team and we that's create this. That's me, you know. Yeah, but set me no even know what I'm going to do. That's why. 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 That's you did call so I said a couple, couple of things, which is one is that I'm not sure how we can say blame shouldn't be assigned to players. Like I'm, I'm flabbergasted. What the hell are we talking about? You play a game and you lose, and you just blame the coach. You weren't on the field playing. How can blame not be distributed between all the parties involved? Against Costa Rica and basically, basically by the way, Ketarak, Apto is not always right. We had six clear chances that we missed. And after they didn't capture that fast break, we had counter-attack where Flemo passed the ball in the defender's chest. We need a two-on-one with Nicholson. After they didn't capture that, by the way, because they said we had no counter-attack. But well, here's my point. Here's my point, which is this. Three and one. In that game against three Costa Rica. Three-on-one. Three one. Wait, wait. Well, three-on-one, three two-on-one, we had a chance to go score, and he kicked the ball into his chest because he panicked. Here's the thing and point I'm trying to make, guys, which is this. When you miss six chances in a game, the coach cannot score for you. You have to take some responsibility for your ineptitude. It's yeah, not about the coach, it's about you. Against the Jamaica game, we agree with the setup. Frankly, we agree. Frankly, when the yeah. entire team plays flat, who you blame? The coach and player. Yes, but we, I hear we're saying that we should who, throw who bottles because... The, who take the more, who, who's going to take most responsibility for your team looking flat and lethargic and out of but position, coach, out of sight? But coach, here's the point, coach. I am going we're to not... take responsibility as the no, but coach. coach. Coach, I don't agree with you, coach. But here's the thing: oh. we're not assigning blames to the players as if they weren't playing. And, it has and, to be a shared. It's a shared you, responsibility. It's shared. Thank yeah. Thank you. The fact is that Panama game, yes, the sir. players they just weren't in the game. I mean, the fact that we have eight um, European players in the game um, supporting our Jamaican players. They just weren't <laughs> in the game. And, and I tell you what, I am a fan of Antonio. Why weren't they in the game? Let me ask that question. Why weren't they in the game? Uh -huh. They and just they were weren't in the game, game because they just didn't have the this. 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 You've been given seconds. You've done the conversation. You want a second all the time. Yeah, John. You're bread. You're in circle. The man, they never have no heart. The man, they never have the drive. My, Look look at how um Corey Burke played the game. Look at Corey Burke. No, 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 you're getting out of, you're getting out of hand here, man. My Just because if, is this is not where you run up and down and, and you play football. You play football. I'm sorry? This is not where running up and down is football. We can't run up and down. You can't break spirit yeah, up and down. Me, me. Yo, Corey me Burke me just, me ran like he me. was a marathon runner. But well, you, yeah, tell, well, me, well, tell me, no, tell me, listen. It's a young coach. It's a young coach. It's a young coach. The man did not make did not make any substantial crosses. He did Boy, not Bert. make any. Listen, go and go and watch the game, them, and then come back, come talk. Don't bother come jump in here and start running after most. The man I made no so contribution <laughs> well, offensively well, I, well, in terms of stop. key passes, in terms of crosses, in terms of dribbles won. He did none of them. He ran. He ran that. really well. He, he, he ran. He, he probably could ball. have run the, the 800 for Jamaica. If which game? Could. Which game? But he was. Any one of them. Any one of them. But oh, formula, formula. Look at them. Go look we're at them. Not saying, we're not saying, guys, that Tapa isn't to take responsibility for Jamaica game. What I'm saying is this. In every game you play, if you lose, it's a sheer responsibility. How you want to sign up percentage-wise? That's fine. We'll get the coach 90, but 10. But the players are playing. They have to have some culpability. No, you can't say the players don't have any blame. Thank you. Hold on. Let us not be disingenuous, people. Listen. When we watch overseas football and we watch we, 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 we Arsenal where I get beaten, <clears throat> uh, Mitchell Arteta on our call for. And he played. But coach, 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 coach. You can't fire the players. You can't fire the players. We, 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 they we have contracts. Players. We call for something. We understand that. But sorry, 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 sorry. Let's talk about Corey Burke. How are you, Reactor Maker? 
January, if you're not going to listen, I'm speaking. I have me to try about it, brother. My apologies. I'm going to make a point. My apologies. Go ahead. 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 We see a man play me coach. When man you now play good, uh, all a man then say out. When um, Arsenal now play good, Arteta. Uh, when time Pep lose the game, when the team lose the game, a man then say Pep no good, Pep panic, <coughs> Pep this, Pep that. When Lampard uh, uh, something there, a man then say Lampard no good. But coach, hey, coach let me say, coach, 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 that the responsibility, you see, because I'm a coach, let me talk from that standpoint. There. I believe the responsibility is a shared one. However, however, I, as the manager or coach, or whatever name they assign to me, I have to take responsibility for how my team play. Even if I know me, me have to take responsibility. Because what? Coach, we not disagree with the coach. First, the elm. We not disagree with you. Here's no, a point, coach. I may find excuse, so may I no, 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 no. Coach, coach, here's a point. Right. Here's a point. Here's a point, guys. Here's this, which is this. We're also disingenuous because when the Jamaican local players don't play well, we beat them. We yeah. haven't beaten English players. And if we no, get man, beaten... That's, that's not true. That's not true. We have not beaten... This, not, not the same, coach, not the same level. Well, maybe I was watching programs. I haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about for the Jamaica game. No, no, no. I'm talking for the Panama game. For the Panama game. Cranky is right. For the Panama game, we're not beating English players. Cranky is right. Okay. Hold on, hold on, brother. It's a Panama game. Hold on, hold on. Cranky is right. And I agree with my adversary, coach. And let me tell you why you be this jealous first, and then I tell you why I agree with Cranky. Coach, mm. you cannot fire players. I said, the no, only people from a well, the coach, me listen to you, you know, coach, me listen to you. <laughs> the only reason why people ball Ole out, Arteta out, Lampard out, because the only person you can terminate is the coach contract, and it don't cost that much. You have to wait until a transfer window for your player go out. So it's in the transfer window that they ball out, Zanet, Gaka, whatever, if you leave Arsenal, yeah. Yes, sir. Hold on, hold on, let me finish now. Cranky is correct. Everyone in this here, and I went to another program, a man beat me, you know, don't have the cojones and the balls because people them going to sleep now to get up and say, Mikel Antonio had a bad game in a red, in a Gold, green, and black. The man is talking in general. Cranky is speaking across the board. Right? If the, the right. backlash is not as severe as when it was a local girl, because right. we are starstruck. Well, 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 no, no because, but we well, know that the beat, players wait, wait, are quality. Let me let me let me let me respond to to Katarak and Coach on that point a while ago. For example, how many chances under the Panama game did Mikel Antonio get? Compare that to the amount of chances that uh, Nikos got in the game versus uh, what was it? Costa, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Compare the amount of chances. Nikos, I mean, I mean, Antonio was up there without any possible plays. Look at them. The, the only player that um um um. Why can't, why can't forget it? Antonio got he 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 did a, a gentle touch towards um the the, the nigga from uh, Rangers. What's his name? Kemaru. Who? 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 Who?
crap at people who my memory. Jan, what did the man say, right? You, you would just send out some voice notes from prison. I hope you know what I'm saying. All right, so, let me get back to you. I hope he's not starstruck. No, 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 no. Ketara, Ketara. I hope he's not starstruck. I just said it. Order in the house, order in the house, order in the house. All right, gentlemen, I have said five minutes. I'm a gun way over. The fact is that this conversation has to end. No. I know the song gets sweet. And this is why I don't like to come on because I don't people don't buy like my energy and still. Thanks very much for tuning in. Big up on yourself. We got Cataract. We have some eye jamaks here. Come here, come out to be on the red list. What do you play? US. Florida. We some eye jamaks. You have to go beg Paul all. QPR and play match in London. No, but for half a way. 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 They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzi, best round here. Remember that.